We should be live now over on YouTube as well as TikTok. We are actually live on time today. Look at that. On time. What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's having a good evening. Uh, it's been a pretty long day. Got a lot done today, but I'm looking forward to having a couple of pours and hanging out with y'all. So, uh, favorite Irish whiskey. I don't have a favorite Irish whiskey. And thoughts on Westward. Don't know anything about it. STO Serious channel member over on TikTok. What's going on? Uh, haven't had a Blue Note 17. Let's check in on YouTube. Tonight's the night we hit 100. So I looked at the stats from last week and we had 99 concurrent viewers was the top. So we were one shy of 100 over on YouTube uh, the last stream. So I don't know if we'll make it tonight, but we're going to see. We're going to do something a little different. So I got a little bit of an announcement and then we'll get into the night's festivity. So uh, the reason we're doing something a little different tonight is because I have decided to make a bit of a lifestyle change that is going to affect how we do these streams. Um, and I've decided to quit uh, being fat, not, not drinking. We're going to keep drinking, but I'm, I'm trying to do it while also not being fat. So I've just quit being fat. I'm going to quit doing fat people things. It's going to take a while for my stomach to catch up to my mind do, not doing fat people things. But we can't just, you know, we're going to have to do a little more talking and a little less drinking. More talking, less drinking, right? More talking, less drinking. And then, that, you know, hopefully that'll help. So I've got a few things we're going to do, a few things we're going to talk about. We've got some fun news stories. We also are going to pick a winner of our great American blind, this, this whole kit here, this whole situation back here. The original great whiskey challenge ultimate tasting kit with the sample glasses and stuff, the video we released last week. We're gonna pick a winner. We're gonna pick two winners, one from TikTok and one from YouTube to give away a couple of these cases right here. Now we've gotten, we're picking, I had the team already pull some random comments uh, from the both of those videos, the YouTube comments and from the TikTok comments. So if you, if you commented on that video, you were entered. What I'm gonna do here in just a little bit, we're gonna pour, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour me a drink, and then we are going to, I'm gonna read those comments to you, and I'm, we're gonna talk about them, and I'm gonna let y'all help me pick one. Now, polling in this is very, very difficult. It's difficult in a chat to poll. So I'm just, I'm really gonna pick the one I want, but if I see like a predominant choice in the chat, we'll go with that, so. Right on time. That's right, Cheech. That is right. Uh, first time watching on YouTube, Sean says. The quality is a lot better over on YouTube, but I may have some news for you. Maybe this week, maybe by Wednesday stream. It may be next week, but we're going to be able, I think, to take the quality up on TikTok as well. So, um, yeah, bourbon has got out of hand there, roly-poly. Um, getting rid of my guts, 10 more years to my life. I, we're going to, we're going to do it. It's already done. It's already a done deal. At this point, I just got to wait for all the fat to burn off. So, uh, I'm going to go very, very serious about it. How'd you miss it? You missed the video? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hank Williams says he's staying fat over here. Um, hard to stay consistent. We're going to, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. I haven't had the Jack Fire. I did buy a whole bunch of Jim Beam stuff today, though. I got the Devil's Cut. Um, I got the uh, the Jim Beam Peach. We're going to be doing some videos with those coming soon. Um, Evan Williams Bottle and Bond is the best bottle of whiskey you can get for under $20 in the state of Alabama. So thanks, uh, Ed Duffett. Appreciate that. Starlight. Um, the only Starlight I have is like their Cigar Blend Amberana finish, and that is not my jam, so... Thank you, Pez. I appreciate you hanging out and joining the live streams. We're going to continue to increase the production quality. So we're going to do some interesting things. Now, um, we're going to do some different things tonight. You're going to be able to see more over on YouTube just because I can show my screen on my laptop here, whereas I can't yet do that on TikTok. But again, I think we're going to be able to do that here in the next week or so. 58, uh, my stats say 54 con concurrent viewers over on YouTube. But hey, you know, it's all good. We'll get there. Sometimes those stats lag behind, so. Turn 21, any liquors you recommend for a first time drinker? Actually, um, make sure you're subscribed over on YouTube. Next week, I literally just shot a video where I go over the five whiskeys for beginners. Um, so we've got, so that video's coming out, I actually, I actually do eight. 
um, video or eight bourbons for beginners. Um, but what, what I want you to do is try a bunch of different flavor profiles from a, a bunch of different um, distilleries. So we've got these two bottles tonight we're going to sample. Um, I was told this rye right here is going to change my life. I don't know. Sagamore rye, I hear it's fantastic. So I came across it a week or so ago and had to pick it up. It, it has a hang tag, so you know it's good. The hang tag says it scored 94 points from Tasting Panel Magazine. I've never heard of Tasting Panel Magazine. They may have made Tasting Panel Magazine up. I don't even know. Like I would, if I made a, if we make a, if we ever make a Brusel bourbon, I'm just gonna make up some magazine. I'm gonna start an online magazine, and then I'm going to hire a bunch of my friends to taste my whiskey and give it a hundred points, and then I'm gonna put it on a little hang tag. So, um, Jack Daniels, I love Jack Daniels. How's the liver, troll man? Welcome back. Master Troll is probably our most consistent viewer over on TikTok. I don't know, at least one of them. I don't have Hennessy, no. Uh, similar to Basil Hayden. I mean, those are gonna be 80 proof. It's by Jim Beam. Um, so I don't know if I, I mean, Basil Hayden has quite a few, quite a few options there, but pretty much any 80 proof whiskey uh, by a major distiller is going to be kind of similar to Basil Hayden. Um, ever had Western Sun? I have not. Stone, we have not bought the barrel yet, but we are going to. So we'll talk about that a little bit tonight here as well. Uh, Calumet 16 and 15 for 144 and 124. Yes, um, if you want them, Eric, buy them because they've. I was literally talking to a liquor store yesterday and they said that um, their distributors are jacking up the price of both of those. So everywhere I've seen Calumet 16, it's 160 plus dollars and that's because distributors are charging more for it. So... 91 in chat, Cheech. Let's see if we can hit it. We're trying to get 100 over on YouTube. We haven't hit 100 concurrent yet, uh, but we've only been streaming over here for, what, a month now? Douglas Carver. Pop the Buffalo Trace. Nice. So has anybody had a Sagamore Rye in the chat, either chat, or a Heaven's Door? This is a single barrel Heaven's Door. It's an MGP single barrel, barrel strength. Anybody had either of these, uh, and what, what are their thoughts on them? I haven't tried it, Drew says. Um... I, I haven't either. This is an ABC store pick. Um, it's MGP, but some of these MGP store picks, especially the barrel strength stuff, is really good. Uh, I haven't had Kirkland seven year, but it, seven year from Barton, I believe, makes the Kirkland stuff. Uh, we just don't have a Costco around here, but I would say that's worth a try for sure. Uh, I've got some Eagle Rare and Buffalo Trace. Those are literally on my list of the five. Go get yourself a... Um, let me see if I can remember the ones I had on my list, but like a Four Roses single barrel, um, a Benchmark Bonded, it, but that's made by Buffalo Trace. So if you've got those, that's good. A Wild Turkey 101, an Elijah Craig Small Batch. Th those are pretty good ones for the beginners that were all on my list. Had the Heaven's Door wasn't my favorite. Interesting. Which one pairs better with a tuna noodle casserole? If it's a good tuna noodle casserole, probably the rye. If it's a bad tuna noodle casserole, you're going to want the high proof right here, my friend. Uh, Bell Meads are hard to come by, right? They've dropped Bell Mead. Um, the, that distillery was bought out, and now they're they're releasing those as Nelson Greenbrier. So if you find a Bell Mead, I really like the Bell Mead Reserve at 108 proof. The normal Bell Mead, mm. or damn Steve. Appreciate you joining, man. Sagamore has a great... Finish rye that is awesome. Saw Heaven's Door at the store. I also bought a Heaven's Door 10, but we're not going to open that tonight. I'm going to do a video on that one. Russell's 10. Russell's 10 is prob. I don't know if I would recommend Russell's 10 for a first time enthusiast just because it does have a good bit of oakiness on it. I would want you to try several other things and work your way to that. But that is a good affordable whiskey to kind of put in your, in your flavor, you know, in your taste test to see if you like those flavors, but I wouldn't start there necessarily. Heaven's Door is better than Dickel Sourced. I would agree. Heaven's Door is hot. All right, so let's start. That's a good point. The Heaven's Door is really, really high proof. So let's start with this Sagamore rye and work our way to this Heaven's Door. So we're going to start here, and then we'll we'll get, because this is the first pour of the night. You know, like I said, I'm trying to cut back. Um, unfortunately, Master Troll, I'm cutting back. So, my liver is going to be just fine. You know, I know you're going to be disappointed to hear that, but 
If price isn't a factor, Matthew Mills with the super chat. Thank you, Matthew. I appreciate the support. Uh, if price isn't a factor, what's your favorite bourbon? William LaRue Weller. Like, it's, that's my favorite weeded. That's my favorite by Buffalo Trace. That's my favorite. It's my, like, it's the tops of every list. Um, and then, you know, normally I drink Weller Antique 107, which actually drops in the state of Alabama this weekend. So I'm going to go out Saturday and try to... Um, Try to get a bottle. Now, I was debating taking the grill and tailgating and filming a whole video around it, but I don't, I don't know if that would be interesting. Y'all let me know. Makers 46 is pretty good. It's not like my favorite thing in the whole world. Um, you know, the French oak adds just kind of a little bit of dryness to it, but it, it's not bad. Really enjoyed the Magnus. Nice. Union horse. I haven't had that. Good. <laughs> good. Appreciate it, Master Troll. I do enjoy having you here, man. Hit the like button. DKG says I'd go. There you go. I'm definitely going. I've just got to determine whether or not I'm going to try to film it. Because we, we've we released, like we released the video where we went and picked up the Lincoln as a long form video. We just released it as a short. It's our worst short over on YouTube, but I didn't expect it to do good. It wasn't really formatted right. I just filmed some stuff and we made a video out of it. But then we just did the beach hunting trip. I got a video dropping tomorrow. So the video tomorrow is going to be fun. I'm actually going to show you the trailer for it over on YouTube here in just a minute. Y'all might be able to, y'all will be able to hear it on TikTok, but you won't be able to see it, unfortunately. Um, but we've, I, I decided to, I get a lot of people asking about Blanton's. Um, and so we did a video, how hard is it to get a bottle of Blanton's in the state of Alabama? So I went in last month's drop, and I actually bought a bottle of Blanton. So about three weeks ago, I filmed that now. Um, and that video comes out tomorrow. So it's, you know, it's just a lot of like, I don't know. I, I'm not a huge fan of reviewing bourbon. Um, I don't want to say bad things about bourbon. And honestly, I don't think I'm like the, the you know, end all be all of judging whether or not a bourbon's good because everybody's tastes are different. We'll continue to do them, but... Um, because I think it is helpful for folks that are just trying to figure it out. But um, I, I really enjoy these out and about doing things, enjoying hanging out with people. We did a cool little interview with some folks that were in line in that video, and I, I enjoy those. So I just don't want to, you know, overdo that format if folks are not really into it. Blends is overhyped. Still good. Um, Gunners, I'll have to look that up. He's a brutal celebrity, <laughs> Master Troll. He's going to get invited to the meetups. If Master Troll was just like a channel member, that would just make it the epic of all epics, right? 61K subscribers, Tommy. Yeah, I, it's crazy. Now, you know, they're all shorts, and we haven't been able to, like, transition them to long-form videos or um, to live streams yet, but they're slowly working their way in there, so hopefully we'll we'll continue to grow that. Um, all right, Secret Dancer is not as good at it, at the trolling. Heaven Hill 27, I haven't had that. I'd love to have some. You talking about the, uh, the 17. I'm assuming that's a typo on the 17. And that was freaking delicious. Now, I don't have a bottle, but I've tried it. You've seen, but yeah, Buffalo Trace is pretty much everywhere around here right now. Like Old Barton 100 proof for $13? I, I agree, that's not bad at all. Yeah, Douglas, the Pappy stuff is supposed to release this month. Now, in Alabama, it won't. Like, it'll be in the lottery in December. Uh, but we'll, I think that's on the list of things for us to talk about here in just a second. So I've got some new stories and some fun things we're going we're gonna to look at and talk about here in just a minute. I do like Woodford, mostly the limited release stuff, though. Like, I don't drink a ton of just normal Woodford, but Woodford Double Oaked is a normal release from them I, I enjoy. Uh, my opinion on Blanton's, Blanton's is, Blanton's is good. Blanton's is what bourbon's supposed to be. It's still overhyped. Like, it's not worth all of the hype that they give it, but it's still delicious and a really nice bottle. What's going on, Lance? MGP juice dominating the industry? Oh, yeah, and there's, you know, there's other distilleries that are, that are starting to create a lot of whiskey for distribution. So I'm sure that'll change over time, but yeah, MGP is owning it right now. Which is funny because they don't have any labels that are like super popular, right? That are like Buffalo Trace popular, but they probably sell as much whiskey as anybody at this point. With all the prices of bourbon and new releases, I've just retreated to the basics of Wild Turkey 101, Evan White Label, Woodford Double Oaked, and Dickel Eight Year. I, 
I had this conversation with somebody the other day. We've been buying so much bourbon lately for videos, but realistically, most of them, I drink like one or two drinks out of it and they just go on a shelf somewhere and I'll never go back to some of these bottles. And so if I weren't creating content, I'd probably be doing the same every once in a while splurge on a really high end bottle. Um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be into the hype near as much if I weren't trying to create content. Um, any good micro distilleries in Alabama for bourbon? No, not that I'm aware of Nick. Um, Clyde Mays is doing some fun stuff, but right now I think they're still building their distillery. So I think it's all contract distilled out of state. What's up? War Eagle one on the War Eagle one just got that, uh, four roses limited edition 2022. Um, what's your favorite for a smooth old fashioned ancient, ancient age, 10 star. Uh, Baker seven. I, I don't, like I said, I don't have the single barrel Baker seven. I have the old bottle before it was a single barrel and those are fantastic. Mictors toasted for $117. That's high. Or well, actually no, Mictors toasted. Yeah. Um, if you're talking about the sour mash, sorry, the sour mash, I literally did a review on it yesterday and it, it'll be coming out soon. I think, you know, I think the MSRP on that's a hundred bucks, um, which is twice it's like fifty dollars more than the normal sour mash so you you take a whiskey and then you just finish it and you double the price of it that's a little steep but those are going for like 280 bucks on the secondary market so if i saw it for 114 i'd buy it just because i know somebody wants it really really bad miss the old bakers oh, i love the i bought like three or four bottles when i found out they were changing it virginia had a good drop today nice moonrise in georgia i'll check that out sometime I don't know about the distillery in Headland. Oh, I wish I've got some old Forster birthday, but not this year's. I haven't, haven't landed that yet. Somebody texted me tweets and things. I'm going to I'm gonna have to mute that. Ah, Caribou Crossing. That Caribou Crossing's a store pick and I just not a big fan of it. Not a big fan. Jim Beam black label for the price. I just got the Jim Beam devil's cut. I think it is. I'm looking forward to trying that. Looking forward to giving that a shot. So I'll, I'll probably film that video tomorrow. Yep, slap MGP on it, or buy MGP, slap a label on it, and charge 4X. What's up, Jess Man? Oh yeah, Ch Channel Jay-Z, the, just switched over from TikTok. The audio and video quality is so much better over there. It is, we're gonna get to where we can do, I'm, I'm pretty close. I'm working with somebody right now to get access to a stream key so we can use the same video and audio over on TikTok. Drink for the tide loss. I'm an Auburn fan. So, you know, we, I'm not that guy, but I'm not upset about it. And congratulations to all the Tennessee fans. Uncle Nears for $64. Nice. Give that a try. Let me know what you think about it. Oh, old granddad 114. Um, it's very serious. That's a very nice whiskey. Um, yeah, I, I didn't even review the Sagamore Rye there. Thanks for the reminder. Um, this is not super intense rye, right? So like a lot of these ryes have just a ton of rye flavor, which I'm not a huge fan of. It looks like we finally broke 100 on uh, on YouTube. So that's, that's awesome. So if you're um, just joining us, we're going to try some whiskeys. We're going to talk about some news of the day. And then we're gonna do some fun things. We're gonna pick winners of our whiskey challenge kit here. And then we're gonna talk about the news. So I'm gonna finish this Sagamore, but that is that is actually a really good rye. If you'd have handed that to me, I would have said that's a high rye bourbon. Um, it's It's got some really nice caramel flavors to it with a little bit of rye um, spice on, on the, you know, on the finish. Um, if you would have blinded, if I'd have blinded this, I would have said it was a Michter's rye, which I like the Michter's rye. Uh, I don't think this has quite as much caramel flavor from memory as the Michter's, but it's, it's kind of in that similar flavor profile to me. This thing is, I can't see. I'm blind, I'm blind, I'm blind. Give me a second to get my lights. This studio is really dark if y'all don't, y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. I know it looks fine because I've got cameras that pick it up, but 83 proof. So it drinks hotter than 83 proof. And that's probably the difference between it and the Mictors. I think the Mictors is 90 proof. Um, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like the Mictors is a little, 
The flavors are a little more intense. That's why that caramel comes through a little stronger. Uh, this is, the mouthfeel is not wonderful on it. It's a little thin, but it's still got really great flavors to it. Thanks, Darren. I appreciate it, man. That's that's a big accomplishment for us. We got 100. Now we just got to get 250. That's the next one. This Sagamore buy, I would say so. I would say so. I don't have, I have the receipt. I saved the receipt. I don't know what I paid for it. Um, I've got receipts stacking up back there. Um, but I would say that's a buy. Yeah, if you're kind of iffy on rice, or if you don't want something with super intense rye flavors, but it does seem to drink a little hotter than 83 proof though. If I would have just blinded it, I would say it's closer to 100 proof. Like I, that's coming, and of course it's the first drink of the day. So could be that. That one dude, you're tagging that one dude, Ryan, he's not in here, is he? There he is right there. Hey, Ryan, Ryan. I'm going to come visit Ryan. I've got, I've got Ryan a gift. i got Ryan a gift. Okay? What do you think about that, Ryan? Right there. What do you think? What do you think? This Is this your stuff? Is this what they're talking about when they say your stuff right here? Thanks, Matty Ice. I'm, wait, I'm waiting for Ryan's reaction. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, we got a video review coming out of this guy but seriously Ryan, i'm gonna hit you up soon i'm gonna come down we'll film something with this but i've got something else in mind i've just gotta i gotta finish it it's taking me time to to get all that pulled together um but we're gonna get together and do something here pretty soon so uh, i'm gonna head down your way in the lincoln have a store of that it's delicious hopefully you're talking about the sagamore Oh, uh, Nick, I, I've already got enough subscribers to write it off as a business expense, a tax deduction. How do you find out about bourbon drops in the state of Alabama? They just announced them on, on a website. Um, if you're doing like local ones, their social media usually keep you, you know, if it's, if there's like chains or something or small local shops, uh, just, you got to pay attention to social media. I have not tried Balconis yet. <laughs> Uh, we're going to have fun with that one, Ryan. Uh, I, that's like, I don't know what I'm going to do with all that freaking fireball. I'll be honest with you. I'm going to have to have a party. I'm going to have to invite over some 21 year olds or something to, to get rid of that crap. Um, it's, uh, it is a lot of fireball, but I couldn't pack, like, I just couldn't pass it up. I was like, that looks like it would make a nice video. Yeah, that's going to be fun, Ryan. I look forward to it. Um, I haven't had any riff yet. Yeah. Uh, E.H. Taylor four grain. Give me a break, man. I'm not, I don't have that kind of clout, Harrison Ford. Um, digging the rye, but they all taste similar. Uh, you know, some of them are much more intense than others as far as the rye flavors go. So, um, this one is very subtle as far as the rye. So I like it. I think that's a really good, that's a really good whiskey. He'll drink it. Um, I did, yeah, I have a Chattanooga single barrel. Uh, I have quite a bit of Chattanooga stuff. My wife went to Chattanooga weekend before last, and she bought everything. When I say it, like, I literally, she's like, I bought you some whiskey. I was like, oh, what did you get? So, chat, have you had anything from Chattanooga? I was like, yeah, I've got a Founder Series and a Cash Strength. What did you buy? Like, what bottle did you buy? Uh, she said all of them. <laughs> so, she came back with a whole case of different Chattanooga stuff. Eagle Rare 17 is really good. Solid, solid whiskey. Not worth the, the chase. I don't like it as good as the William LaRue, but um, it's, a, it's a good bottle. All right, let me catch up. Do you get a lot of deal? Oh, I, I hate Sazerac rye. I, don't, I just don't like it at all, Will. Um, I don't know if dill is high. Like, I just, I just equate that to rye, you know, like a really intense rye flavor, uh, but not, not my jam at all. DKG says he'll come. What's the proof on the keg? It's just fireball. What is it, 70 proof? I don't even know. Um, he's going to make a good video to never release. No, it's coming. It's going to be a short only, but do you sell any? No, we don't sell any any whiskey. We are looking to do our first store pick, though, so I'm working on that. So let's talk about that. Uh, kind of update y'all on it. We've decided to move forward with the store pick from Barrel Bourbon. Um, I am filming a, a video review of Barrel Vantage. They, you know, I've got enough clout now. We built a little clout. So they sent me this Barrel Vantage right here to review. And I filmed a really interesting review in our new format, our Doug DeMuro style review of this bottle. 
And, uh, and it was like the last of like four videos I shot yesterday and one of the cameras shut off. So I've got like half of a video review of Barrel Vantage. And so I've got to refilm it tomorrow. So we'll refilm this. So when you see the, uh, when y'all see the video, just go ahead and give me heck like they always do. They're like, why are you reviewing a bottle that's already open? Well, it's because when I opened it, that video didn't, didn't pan out. So we're going to do that review and then I'm going to be back in touch with them for specifics. And we're going to pick, we're going to pick between channel, like channel members over on YouTube or our live subscribers over on TikTok or patrons. We're going to try to get together a group of those to go to Louisville to help pick that barrel. So if you're interested, you know, you can, you can help us out in any of those capacities, channel memberships or, or subscribers or patrons. Uh, yeah, I love Stag. Stag's good stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely interested in trying more Starlight stuff and heading up there. It's good? Okay. Vantage is good. It was good. Like, on my review, it's pretty good. It actually scored really well. Um, so, well, if I do a barrel pick, it's going to be on an online website. So, you would be able to order on an online website. Make sure you're in our Discord because that's where we're going to be promoting it. Um, the Discord, if you're over on TikTok, you should be able to join the Discord from my bio. There should be a link in the bio to join the Discord. And if you're on YouTube, Cheech does a good job of keeping us up to date over there. And by the way, I don't know, I think we still got a hundred and something over on YouTube. If you're not subscribed to Cheech, you're missing out. He's got a really fun live stream, late night live stream. After I get tired and go to bed, that man will still be streaming. Send me samples again in the Discord. We we could talk about those types of things. I don't really drink a lot of scotch, no. Uh, New Riff is all right. I hear great things about it. I'm gonna have to try. Uh, Jefferson's aged at sea. It depends on the voyage. I've got some back there, like 22. I really like 17. Couldn't stand at all. So it really really varies. Nice. Live by Starlight. Awesome. Uh, so it's another streaming platform. What do you? Bilbo, you talking about uh, Discord? Now, Discord is more like a chat. It's kind of like uh, Slack. Um, you know, it's just more of a chat platform. So we've got rooms in there where we I document, you know, working on the Lincoln and the process of buying the Lincoln Continental that we're using to, to drive around. If I'm going to be in some town, like if we're going to go to Louisville, I'll post in there to see who's in Louisville. Maybe we'll get together and do some stuff, right? That's just where we communicate with folks in between videos and streams. So just a chat platform. And I know it's not for everybody. It's cool if you're not there. I have not had Knob Creek smoked maple. It should I. Like, that just scares me. Like, it just maple and my bourbon doesn't sound like something I would like. But you let me know if I'm wrong about that. Thoughts on McKenna 10. I like McKenna 10 a lot. Uh, they vary a good bit. The batches I've had vary, but my batches are usually two or three years apart because that's how long it takes me to finish one. Um, but I, I enjoy them. No review on Johnny Walker Blue. I've been, they're just so expensive. Johnny Walker Blue is just so dang expensive. And so I've seen it a couple times. I want to buy it, but I just got to be a little, I got to be a little richer before I pull the trigger on that for something I'm not sure I'm going to like. 23 is solid, not worth 80 bucks necessarily. Okay. Discord has streaming now, yeah, but I don't think we're going to go there. So I see you getting a million, Hank Williams says. Man, that is awesome. Salty's got his cash in hand for the barrel. I'm gonna try some Frey Ranch at some point, Eric, for sure. It's on my list. I just haven't come across it here. Um, so Facebook, well, we've talked about we've talked about doing Facebook and maybe even Twitch or something like that. Like, there's no reason not to. But honestly, I don't know if I could pay attention to that many chats. If they would all like combine into one chat, sure. But I just don't know if that's gonna gonna work out. Um, CC finished bourbon. I'm not a huge fan of finished bourbons, I, but I. I'm trying more of them lately. So we've been trying a lot of new finished bourbons just because I think maybe I started with bad ones. If I'm being honest, I just think maybe I started with bad finished bourbons and I just haven't had a lot of really good ones. Um, Nate's been pushing me on that a little bit because of his love for uh, Yellowstone finished whiskeys. And so I've been trying some new ones and I'm starting to find some I like. So it, it just has to be, for me, the finish has to be subtle. If it's a really strong finish on the whiskey, I'm not going to be a fan of it. Ah, uh, Wiggy, have I heard? Um, I'm so, there's a recent new Missouri bourbon, Ben Holiday. I haven't heard of that. Yahoo picked up the first Blanton's. Have you cracked it open? Let me know what you think of it. Is Weller 12 worth the hunt? Um, Weller 12 to me is not worth the secondary value. 
Um, so is it not? That means it's not worth the hunt. Now, if you find one, buy it. Like I hunt. People ask me, like, what are you looking for? Anything interesting? Like, I'm not looking for any one thing in particular. I'm just looking for a good time. So, um, if I, you know, if I'm just hunting in general, I come across one at a decent price, I'll pick it up. I'm out. I need one. I like to have them on the bar to share with people. But um, it's my least favorite weller. Yeah, uh, Maker's Mark, the limited release Maker's Mark stuff, the high proof Maker's Mark stuff is really good. The low proof, it's okay. Four Roses Small Batch Select. That's my beach bourbon. I drink a lot of that. Sim similar Discord, similar to Line App. I don't know much about Line App. The KC Smoked Maple makes a pretty fun old fashioned. I, be I bet that would. That that's a good idea, Nick. I'll have to give that a try if I get a bottle. All right, so let's um, let's pick a winner. Let's pick a winner. Let's do that. We're gonna move on real quick and pick a winner of the giveaway. We're giving away one of these. Actually, we're giving away two of these. Or Original Great Whiskey Challenge Tasting Kits. And if you haven't bought one of these, you can get them on their website, Google it. I think we put a link in, in the bio on TikTok. Um, I'm, I'm assuming it's still in there, but it comes with like all the glasses and everything you need to, to have two people do a blind tasting. My glasses are actually over there because we've been using them a lot. Um, so I, I, we're picking a winner from the comments. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with I think these are TikTok. So I'm gonna read the comments. I'm gonna read the comments and y'all help me pick one, okay? So help me pick a winner and uh, then we'll we'll notify them tomorrow. And, uh, and I've just got, I had the team randomly pick. I told them to pick four. It looks like they gave me six on TikTok and five on YouTube. Um, so I go ahead and apologize to everybody who didn't win. Um, but I'm not gonna tell you the name of the person I'm going to read their comment, and then we pick one. So, TikTok, the first one. I don't drink because I'm under 21, but I love to look at the brewing of whiskey, and my dad loves whiskey. I'm sure he would love a kit for his birthday. Why would they pick? Why did my team pick this one? Like, the dude's under 21. He says it's brewing of whiskey, and then he thinks his dad would love it. Like, I mean, if y'all pick that one, so be it, but... All right, number two, would love one of these kits. Having family I haven't seen in years come in town for the holiday season, this would be awesome to have. So he's tugging at the family heartstrings. So we've got underage, we've got family heartstrings. The next one actually has two comments, so now we've got seven. Hopefully it goes to someone good, mostly just commenting so the video gets attention. So this person is kissing my ass a little bit, which I like. I tend to like the ass kisser. So the next one, that's an awesome idea. I've done it labeling plastic cups. Would be cool to have that lot if you have a spare. So we've got the pour appeal. I'm just using red solo cups. We've got the ass kisser. We've got the family heartstrings and we got underage and we've got three more. I'm trying to find a whiskey I like for under $25. Maybe I'll try more expensive, but right now I'm just having fun. That kit would be perfect. So we got the newbie appeal and we've got watching your videos, got me into bourbons, whiskeys, and I love how you don't buy into all the BS on the internet. Thank you, sir. Another really good ass kisser. And so now the last one, this is the last one. So we got ass kisser one, ass kisser two, and all those other ones. I thought I knew whiskey till I started watching your videos. Thank you so much for all the knowledge. So three ass kissers. So now we gotta pick. Are we gonna go with ass kisser one, ass kisser two, ass kisser three, underage? Um, what else have we got? Family heartstrings and the newbie. Which one, which one? I don't know. Y'all don't get any official shirt of, of bourbon, okay. Family Heartstrings. ADHD says ask us, but which one? So we've got three ass kissers here. Um, so we've got the, wait, let's see, let's see who did it the best. Most, just, just commenting so the videos get more attention. Like that's selfless. That's pretty selfless. Um, let's see, that's watching your videos got me into bourbons. And then 
Thought I knew whiskey till I started. That's two and three. What I call the other ass kisser? That was the guy that was like the selfless ass kisser. Ass kisser one, so the selfless. We got three, three, two, two. That's what it's newbies getting a few votes. Family heartstrings over here. We like the the kisser number one. Pick the underage one. That would the no internet BS. That's the um. Let's see. That's uh no, that's ass kisser number two. Okay. All right, so AK3, AK2. It, it looks like to me we're going to go with AK2 on this one. So what is AK2's name? Let me make sure. That's the no internet BS one. And his name is Tilly FB0611. So Tilly o, FB0611. We'll, uh, we'll tag him in the video here in a little while. Or if y'all want to go tag him in the video, I don't, I don't care. But we are going to give it to him as long as he comes through. If he doesn't come through... Like, I'm going to give him a week to reply. If he doesn't come through, then we'll give it to somebody else. So now let's do YouTube. Let's look at YouTube. What have we got here? Comment number one. Oh, God, these are small. That's awesome, but takes it to another level. The glasses should be dark so you can see the color. Or tin, or maybe put a shoebox when you grab them. You can't. Like, this guy's just shitting on the idea. Why would we give it to him? Like, this guy's like, ah, this is not good. This is, it's pretty good, but it could be better. So, you know, Karen, that one's Karen. Um, I really want this for my wedding. I'm getting married in March, and my fiance is a sommelier. She taught me about wine, and I'm teaching her about whiskey. Another good family heartstring connection right there. The third one, I would love to try this with my dad. We've been drinking whiskey together for some time. No one better to drink it with. So family heartstrings number two. You know when you're hooked on Bruzel, when you're waiting on the phone notification to go off and stop completely what you're doing to watch. So we got another ass kisser right here. I do like the ass kissers. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a little partial to it. The family heartstrings is pretty good, but the butt kissers... Maybe where it's at. And then the last one. Been here when you were below 10K subs. It's awesome seeing your channel explode in popularity. So he's been here since 10K. So he's been here like a month. Uh, again, another, you know, I appreciate it. Long haul gang right there, right? Long haul gang. But it ain't been that long, unfortunately. Or fortunately, I guess. So what have we got? We've got those. We've got, uh, we've got Karen. We've got the, the young sommelier getting married, so we'll call him married. We've got the uh, butt kisser here. Or no, that's actually family heartstrings with the dad. Uh, family heartstrings with the dad. And then we've got the flat out, I love brusal butt kissing. And then we've got the, the long haul gang. What have we got? What have we got? Family one. Uh, are decanters worth buying? Not really. If you want a decanter, just empty a whiskey bottle and pour your whiskey in there. Unless you just like the look of it. Mary, Karen, family, dad. I don't drink scotch. Um, a 1910 Old Forester is great. I do not have any Parker's Heritage on the shelf. I wish I did. Can you see the contents of the kit? Let me show you the contents of the kit while we're voting here. See if I can show it to you. Um, so it comes with a few things here. It comes with two of these boards like this, so you can put your winners on. It says first place, second place, third place, and it's got the the instructions here. And it's got a bunch of things for you to write on, like you know people do, and little labels to stick on the bottles. And then uh, in here, I've got my glasses over there, and I'll try to do this without without pouring everything out. But my glasses are over there being washed. But it comes with little tasting glasses that's got letters on the bottom. And then these bottles, so you can pour samples and take it with you and all that. And a little, you know, funnel and pencil and all of that jazz. It's a really nice kit. We've enjoyed it. I've used it a lot more than I thought I would. Um, I've broken a couple of glasses, but that's not their fault. I'm just clumsy. Um, but I've still got four good ones. That's all you really need. Makers 46. Nice. So family dad, family dad, marriage, dad. Sammy's been here since less than 100. Father, son. I don't have any Nashville Barrel Company. I need some, though. I have a lot of Garrison Brothers. John Belushi. Nah, dude, we try to stay away from that. Dad. It looks like everybody, it, like, ugh, married and dad. 
So I'm getting a lot of dad over here. Married is let Nate pick. Is Nate in here? Where's Nate at? Nate, we got a we got marriage and we got dad. So they're getting married and we got dad. We're gonna go with one of those two. If Nate's in here, I'm gonna take what Nate says. Nate in the chat over on YouTube. We're gonna we're gonna let him pick. What's going on? Thy energy. Um, I have tried Joseph Magnus Murray Hill. I've got some Murray Hill over there on the bar. I, I like it. It's fine. At least I don't love it. Um, I don't like it as much as the cigar blend for sure. It looks like Nate bounced. Nate's not even in here. So we're just going to have to pick ourselves. And Lord, it looks like, it looks like the married. I'm going to go with married. It looks like it's got the most over on YouTube and it looked kind of even again. It's hard to tell. These are, these are really tough to do. So we're going to go with the I'm getting married because that's cool. His fiance is a small yay. He could teach her about bourbon so she's not shoving wine down his throat his entire freaking life. Like we can help these people get this relationship off on the right foot. Like that sounds like a good story. And that is Randall Chase over on YouTube. So we're going to get Randall Chase one of these kits. I will contact them and we'll see about getting them the, um, the code. So they just go online and order it straight from the company. They're going to ship them out for us. So that's awesome. There is nothing like drinking with your dad though. That's pretty cool. But like, I don't know if dad's really into, got a couple of votes for dad, a little late for me there. Um, but I, like, I don't know if his dad's into blinds. His wife's a small yay. I think she would love it. So, uh, yes, it is. Um, it is good. I liked it. It's, you know, I've got a review coming out this week on it. So it was, it's a good bottle. The Michter's Sour Mash Toasted Barrel. Yeah, congrats, Randall. Hotty toddy. Hey, I, it's okay, Miller. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's a tough year. Um, I, I hope Old Miss wins out and, and goes to the SEC championship game. Woodford Reserve. I like the Woodford Double Oak. I almost bought a bottle today, um, but couldn't quite, couldn't quite pull the trigger. I bought too many bottles already. Um, all right, so we're going to, I'm going to pour this Heaven's Door right here real quick. And then we are going to talk about some news and things. Salty, I'll let Jill know. She's probably watching. I don't know if she's watching on TikTok or YouTube, but normally on these Mondays, if she doesn't, uh, <laughs> if she doesn't uh, join, she uh, she'll normally be watching. So she might be in the chat here. Got lucky to get a single oak project. Oh man, that would be awesome. I've never tried one of those. That would be fun. I'd love to have one of those. That would that would be incredible. Just join now. If you think bourbon industry is out of control, you should check Scotch Market. Yeah, and we're going to talk about the. I've got some news stories we're going to talk about here in just a second. So, um, go Badgers. Lean beef with the super chat. Disarono Amaretto. Okay. Um, I like. What do I do with it? I don't know. I mean, I kind of know what it is, but uh, I, Lance, I just bought a Heaven's Door ten year yesterday, but I haven't tried it yet. Thoughts on New Rift? Don't have it. Don't know. What are your thoughts? Is that something I should seek out, or are you just asking because you're you're not sure about it? Joshua Stir Price? I'm not sure I follow. Small Yay. Yeah. Let the Miss select if she's here. I don't know if she's here. I said a bunch of bunch of ass kissers. She probably bailed on that. Oh, that's oaky. Is that finished? Cash strength single barrel straight bourbon whiskey. So it's not finished. Does it have an age on it? So this is obviously MGP. It's distilled in Indiana. 75 corn, 21 rye, 4% malted barley. It was... That's the Rick level, but it doesn't give me an age at all on this that I can see. Um, not seeing any age statement on the bottle at all, but it's oaky as could be. Would Tennessee want to open the Elijah Craig 18 year? Nice, Ben, that would have been awesome. So what does finish mean? Finish means once it came out of the barrel, they then put it in another barrel or they put something in it. Could be oak staves or something like that. Uh, to add flavor. So a lot of times, super oaky, very MGP, a nice sweetness to it. 
Uh, it's all oak up front, though. I typically like oak on the finish. This one's kind of weird. Um, it's oak up front, and then it gives me sweetness on the finish. And kind of leaves me with just kind of a... Kind of a pleasant, sweet finish. It drinks less proof than it actually is. I thought that one drank a lot higher, that Sagamore. This guy right here is 116 proof. Now, it's hot, so it's not drinking like a 90 proofer. But I would have guessed maybe 110. Um, but that's not bad. It does have a little bit of a minerally taste, like it has some George Dickel in it, though. This is a single barrel from Indiana, but I do get a little of that minerally taste, which is, I'm not a fan of that, but it's real subtle. Can't turn the light off. It's real subtle. So all in all, I think that's pretty good, pretty good pick there. Heaven's Door is horrible. I would, like, this is just MGP, right? So it's just MGP. So if you, if you say Heaven's Door, like some of the Heaven's Door has, you know, George Dickel and different things in it, that I would probably agree to those. This particular one is just a single barrel from MGP. So MGP is Midwest Grain Products. I think they're now called Ross and Squibb. Um, but they are a large distiller that a lot of brands that are just getting started buy whiskey from. And a lot of folks will buy it and then blend it with other stuff. So they may blend it with George Dickel or stuff from, you know, any, any distillery. Or maybe they had it contract distilled. Um, so this, but this being a single barrel, it all just came from MGP. So... Half ounce Disorono, half ounce Scotch or bourbon. Okay, I'll uh, I'll check that out. All right, so we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about some news and things. Let's um, I'm gonna pour me just a little more of this here while we're doing that, and uh, we're gonna talk about some stuff. How the bourbon industry is getting out of freaking hand, like it's getting nuts. So first though, I want to show y'all. You won't be able to see it on TikTok. You won't be able to see any of this, but I'll try to describe everything as much as I can. But I want to show y'all on YouTube the trailer for tomorrow's video, the kind of intro to it, and let me know your thoughts on whether or not you're, you 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 think this is going to be a good video or you think it's going to suck. I'm like I'm okay with constructive feedback, but let me I'm going to go really I want to test the audio. That's really what I want to do. Is I want to test the audio to see if y'all can hear this. So what I'm going to have to do is click over to this right here. Well, I gotta get, I've been clicking in the wrong stuff. So I'm gonna click over there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull, pull this, this up, up so you, so you should, should be able, able to see, see me sitting, sitting in a in car, car right, right now. now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute, mute me, me over on YouTube here. But y'all on uh, TikTok can still hear me. And then I'm gonna play this. Here, only dropping Blantons in one location locally. They don't tell you how much. Now, I have no idea if there's going to be anybody here or if there's going to be 20 people in line. That's the person that's probably not going to get a bottle. I'm doing this as an adventure. They just posted the list. All right, so that, that is, is the teaser, teaser for, for tomorrow's, tomorrow's video. video. Hopefully, Hopefully, I don't, I don't know, know if y'all can, can hear that. that. Um, um, let me let know me what, what y'all think, think about that. Y'all think, think that is an, an echo? echo? Um, well, that, that, we're not, we're not, we're not going to watch, watch a lot of videos video today, today, so I'm, I'm going to try to fix that. that. But we're, we're trying, trying to, figure to figure out how to... Oh, not, not all, all in, I, I've, I've got, got some great, great MGP, MGP stuff, stuff back, back there, uh, Robert, Robert, for, for sure. sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely not, not all, all MGPs, MGPs are bad. Um, so, so, double, double mic? Well, I'm muted myself, myself, so you should have heard me. I think something's up with... There's an echo now. I got you. There's an echo now. Cut the audio off on that, so hopefully that's gone. But there wasn't an echo when you when you heard the video. There's just an echo now. Okay, gotcha. Full stereo sound, yeah, because it's picking me up through this. I've got a little a little problem. We're gonna have that. You know, we're trying to get it set up so when we get TikTok uh, stream key access, we can go crazy with it. So we're gonna take the production level up on TikTok and YouTube at the same time. So, um, yeah, gotcha. So y'all could hear me when I was talking to them through this. Didn't didn't even consider that the mic was hot on this. Um, anyway, so all right, so that's cool. Let's let's react to some news. So I saw today that Arby's, Arby's, the freaking you can get a roast beef sandwich place is releasing their own bourbon. And so, what are our thoughts on this? 
Is anybody excited about an Arby's bourbon? Is there somebody out there that's like, this is a thing that should exist in the world. We should get an Arby's bourbon. And I'm gonna read the story here. Arby's is releasing a smoked bourbon inspired by its brisket and ribs. And so it's, it even says here, they've put an emphasis on stunt marketing in recent years and to help emphasize that we have the meats. Uh, it, it takes a bit of an alpha dog attitude. So it, um, let's see if I can find some information about it. So it, Arby's smoked bourbon takes inspiration from their 13 hour smoke. Like what, how are they smoking it? It's a 90 proof spirit produced by Brain Brew Custom Whiskey in Newton, o Newtown, Ohio. By taking Arby's smoked American oak, placing it in the bourbon, and then Woodcraft finishing it by heating and cooling the liquid to replicate the various variations of temperature throughout the seasons. So they took a bourbon and they just threw some oak, probably chips in it, and heated and cooled it. And apparently Arby's did a vodka um, before, but like, that's just crazy. Roast beef aged bourbon, Robert, that would be, that would be hilarious. Uh, yeah, Elijah Craig, Barrel Proof is your fave. Um, Evan Williams, White Label's good stuff, man. Good stuff. Um, nothing wrong with either of those. Only if it has Arby's Select Single Barrel. What, with horseradish sauce? Lean beef with the super chat. Thank you for the support. I'm only 22 and straight whiskey hurts. Any tips? Um, drink it over ice, drink it in mixed drinks. Like, you know, ease your way into it. Um, you know, we've got fireball back there. Like I really got into whiskey drinking Jack and Coats. So cut it down, right? Get used to it. You'll grow into it. If you're really into the hobby, uh, you'll grow into it. Like I was in my thirties, really probably I mean, I was in my late 30s before I was drinking whiskey neat, really in my 30s before I was drinking it at all. Always has bourbon, already has bourbon sauce on the brisket sandwich. And I think that's kind of what this promotion is. But I looked this up. This is only available, like they give a website. What is the website that you go to to get this monstrosity of a thing? Um, they give a freaking website. Where is it at? Story continues. Okay, Arby's smokedbourbon.com please enter your date okay i was born the seven day seven 1907 and then you know it's got so it's only available in california colorado washington dc florida kentucky new hampshire and new york so i can't even get it but i want it like i think this would be a hilarious video so if anybody is in one of those states and can help land me an Arby's bourbon, I would be much appreciative. I would be much, much appreciative. We have the bourbon. Horsey sauce. Jim Beam is still, nothing wrong with Jim Beam. No one knows how to make bourbon in, in, in Ohio. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, doesn't sound like this is gonna be good, but I still want one very much. Horsey sauce chaser. You have your Yahoo screen up? Oh yeah, well, I mean, that's, that's where the news story was. Um, and y'all will see all the ads on all of those. So you'll see everything I've been looking at lately. Sunglasses and hats and shirts and things. Um, do an Arby's bourbon video. Oh, I, no, we will totally be eating a roast beef sandwich. What's up, Saucy? So if anybody helped me get one, uh, Arby's bourbon is better than Russell's Reserve 13. 1910 Old Forester, good stuff. Um, Fish boy. I mean, we don't talk about these types of things in public, but you know, things have been known to happen. There's a discord link in my, uh, in my profile. We, you know, we don't openly talk about those things there either, but that'll get you closer. I really love peerless. Peerless is good stuff. Nothing wrong with that at all. Old Ezra seven. Nice. Um, all right. So let's, let's, so y'all like, it, so the states, California, Colorado, Washington, D.C., Florida, Kentucky, New Hampshire, and New York. So you have to, they have a website where they're going to drop it, arbysmokedbourbon.com. And it's supposed to drop in the next day or two, I believe. And you could go in there and order it and have it mailed to you. So if anybody can, can help me score one of those, I'd be happy to pay for it. 
What are we sipping? Right now, I'm sipping on a little Heaven's Door store pick right here. MGP sourced store pick. Sammy's drinking Evan Williams bottle and bond. That's, again, best bottle of whiskey you can buy in the state of Alabama for under, uh, under $20. Will shortages affect the make-believe prices? Um, probably, probably not. We'll actually, I think that we've got some news on that to, uh, to talk about here as well. The video they've got is really cool. And it, it's a cool looking bottle. Like I'd just love to have that for the gimmick of it, right? It's like why I bought this freaking keg of Fireball. Um, things are getting freaking wild. Dave, that video is actually, I actually shot that video yesterday. It should be coming out soon. It'll be a long on YouTube and then we'll probably try to make a short out of it. Not even Nebraska. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So let's, um, we're going to click over here to TikTok real quick. And, uh, or no, that's actually Twitter. Excuse me. Twitter. So this, this tweet says, Costco lures me in with a $1.50 hot dog so that they can upsell me on the $37,000 scotch. So this guy, like his Costco is selling a singleton scotch, 54-year-old single malt for $37,000. Like does Costco really, do they expect to sell that? Like, do they, do they expect, does anybody have any insight as to, like, do they expect, is that just a gimmick? And they're like, we're never going to sell this, but let's put it out there just to see how it goes. And realistically, would you ever pay, like, how rich, how, like, F you rich do you have to be to pay $37,000 for a 54-year-old scotch? I have not had Kinsey. Um, Kentucky Out Confiscate is fine. It's not a $150 bottle to me. This bottle right here, I don't know. I've got the receipts in the back, um, but I don't know. I actually thought I was buying Heaven's Door 10 when I got this one. So, um, long story. Yeah, that's crazy. That's freaking nuts. Costco had birthday bourbon? Oh, man, that'd have been nice to find. The new Castle of Key Weeded. I went to try to find one of those yesterday, but they had sold out. Sitting in an industrial rack? Exactly. Like, they didn't even care. It's in like a glass case where you can't even buy it. They will sell that. Somebody will buy it. But like, if you get to afford a $37,000 scotch, are you shopping at Costco? Are you really? Like, maybe that's how you keep your money. I don't know. What's going on? Get me fit. I'll help you get that bottle of Arby's bourbon. Hey, we'll, we'll work it out. Like I said, join the Discord. Link's in the, uh, in the description. Or link's in my bio. Excuse me. Uh, best bourbon under $150 that you can regularly get. That's such a tough price point. Um, there, Cause I like, there's nothing I could regularly get for a hundred to $150 that I think I would probably say Calumet 16, but even that's kind of jumped up above one. As soon as anything turns out to be really good in that price point, it's, you know, 150 to 300 on secondary. And then they're hard to come by. So Gets the media coverage. Exactly. Gets a bunch of people on Twitter talking about it. That's Bill Brown. That's a, it's a good call right there. Um, how do you even purchase it? Do they offer financing? Can I get 90 days, same as cash or uh 82 month loan on that, please? I would buy that $37,000 bottle if I was a plumber. Yeah, that's what I say, Chris. It, you really shopping in Costco if you buy $37,000 scotches? I Lean beef with the super chat going now. Just wanted to support to support one more time. I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the super chats. Thank you, Dylan. Appreciate that. Uh, Jack Daniels gold. I have not. I have not tried that. Um, I tried a lot of Jack Daniels, but I haven't had the gold. Um, how expensive it would be without the Costco membership? That's another good question. Does anybody know what the price of this scotch is? 54 year singleton scotch. Is there like a Costco discount? Is it like $45,000 if you're not uh, a Costco member? I, I don't freaking know. Who knows? Uh, Wild Turkey Reserve 10-year? I don't think I've had Wild Turkey Reserve 10-year. Can I try it and return it? Oh, my God. You, it's a good question. It's a good. I'm sure there's a zero return policy on alcohol there, though. What was the best bottle for 120 in Alabama? Well, I mean, in Alabama, you can go to like the whiskey drops, um, the allocation stuff. So almost everything's going to be MSRP, but you got to like wait in line. So then it costs you more than 120 bucks, costs you a bunch of time. DJ with the 499 Super Chat and a Nintendo controller. 
Kelly Conway in the house. What's going on, Kelly? When are you going to come down here and drink some of this crap? Kelly lives like eight houses down from me here. Appreciate it, Thomas. Appreciate it. All right, let's move on to the next thing here. This is a TikTok. So we'll try to, I'm going to try to mute. I'm going to be quiet so that y'all can hear it and we don't mess anything up here. So I'm going to mute that. Just how to turn a cheap $15 bottle of bourbon in. Right, okay, TikTok, I want to show you guys how to turn a cheap $15 bottle of bourbon into something comparable to my favorite bourbon, which is this right here. This is not a paid advertisement. I don't work for anybody. I'm not getting money for this. But this is a $100 bottle of bourbon uh, made by a Barrel Distillers. It's very good. It's my absolute favorite right now. Problem is, 100 bucks. I can only afford about three or four bottles a year. So I have come up with a way through a TikTok connection um, to take just plain old cheap bourbon and turn it into something comparable. And here's what I'm using. I'm gonna actually take this, uh, a 750 bottle of this is about 13 to $15 here in Oklahoma. This is Evan Williams bottled in bond. It's pretty good on its own, uh, comparable to Jim Beam. I think it's a little bit smoother than Beam. So what I found was this product called American Oak Medium Plus Toast on Amazon. There you go. And what it's got in it is these little spirals. All right, so we gotta speed this up. This dude did a two, he got mega views on like a two eighteen, two minute, 18 seconds. So he's gonna age it like in itself. spirals. So, okay, okay so, so I got I the got gist my... of it. He basically, let me, let me mute this here and then unmute, unmute myself. myself unmute myself over there. Okay. So hopefully the audio is straight. So he took a bottle of Evan Williams bottle and bond. He poured it in Mason jars and he put Oak spirals. Now he used toasted Oak spirals. So they're toasted. They're not super charred Oak spirals. And he says it makes it taste like a hundred dollar bourbon, basically a barrel store pick. Has anybody here used spirals in whiskey? Anybody? Let me know your thoughts on spirals before I give you my thoughts. Let me catch up with the chat. Evan Williams Bottle and Bond is the best bottle of whiskey you can buy for under $20 in the state of Alabama. Don't have any Nashville barrel, no. Singleton Paragon. Oh, uh, Heaven Hill Bottle and Bond's pretty good. I don't drink a lot of it. Like, it's not something I just go to a lot, but I do like it. Wife is headed to Austin. Best place to stop for normal price bourbon. Don't know. I haven't done a lot of... I've been to Austin a lot. I don't do a lot of hunting there, unfortunately. So, sorry, can't help. Good started. We, I'm literally doing a video right now about the best whiskey to start with. Heaven's Door. Love it. Nice. Um, Detling for 120. Eh, I'm not sure I would list that as good, though. Um, convince my wife to let me have a bourbon. You, you're telling me you have convinced your wife or you want me to convince your wife? Costco's alcohol return policy sucks can only return it the day you bought it. So as long as you try it that day, you can take it back, right? Right now, Kelly says, maybe not tonight, but you know, maybe this weekend or something. We're kind of live streaming right now, Kelly. Uh, anyone wants to see the new rum finished master sheet? I have it, I have it. Started off with Atari. Oh, it's Michael, but it says Kelly Michael. Uh, drinking Eureka Gold, okay. Nope, I smoked, but no. Thought it was a 30 bar, okay. Skelly, what's going on? Trying to see what y'all... Sherry Rabbit Hole, haven't had that one. He would probably steal my wallet. Uh, he, he, and I'm not I'm not knocking this guy. So, I, like, it's easy for me. When I post a video and anybody replies to it, it comes, you know, sometimes it can just come across as hate because you only got, like, a minute to reply. Uh, so I'm not hating on this guy. I'm not hating on this guy at all. Um, Oak Spirals changed the flavor of whiskey. And he's using toasted oak spiral. So I really need to get some toasted to do some experimentation. But in my opinion, oak spirals do not improve whiskey. Any rapid aging, small barrels, any of that don't improve whiskey. Now toasted has a better chance of, of making it different. Um, it doesn't usually make it better to me. Um, what it does is it just makes it super oaky, but it's not like a nice sweet oak. It's just kind of a, a really strong bitter oak to me. Again, toasted 
It's probably going to be a lot more subtle than that, so I can see how you might enjoy it, but it's not going to make it, to me, taste like a bottle of whiskey, um, like that barrel pick that's, that's, you know, set in a barrel for six or seven or eight years. B. Ward, I'm having a pretty good evening. I'm ready for the allocation. I'm going to be over in Auburn this Saturday trying to get a bottle of uh, Weller Antique 107. Commented it to me, thought it was okay. Uh, yeah, I, I do remember seeing it. The team picked it out. I didn't even know they had picked this out. Uh, but I do remember seeing your tag. That's where I'd seen the video originally. Um, have not tried Oak Spirals, but it just doesn't sound fun. You know, we're going to run a lot of experiments on bourbon here over the next couple of months. So that would, that would be, um, that would be one we probably should do. Kelly and I canceled our Kentucky bourbon tour. We've decided to do a bourbon tour. Hey, that's cool. Come on. We've got plenty. Got plenty. There's a new bourbon that comes with the spirals in it. That just doesn't sound like a good time. Uh, hunting for great, great stuff in Idaho. Hunting for the great stuff in Idaho that you review is horrible. Oh, the way it's distributed. So it's hard to find the stuff that I like. Well, we've got some cheap stuff coming that we're, we're reviewing here lately too. So drinking some Sazerac since you... Yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of, of Sazerac rye. That's the only thing about Sazerac I don't like though, really. Just got some 107 in Ohio. Nice. Singleton Paragon of Time, 54 years year single malt scotch whiskey 45k so there is the discount you do get the discount there you go uh, so we're back on the rb story here let's see what else we got oh dr pepper releases a bourbon flavored soda that does not include alcohol why why are there people out there that are like you know what i really want the taste of bourbon but I don't want it to be alcoholic. I want it to taste like Dr. Pepper and bourbon, but no alcohol. Like is Dr. Pepper and bourbon even like a thing you would do? Like a Jack and Coke, pretty good. Is Dr. Pepper and bourbon? I don't know, I literally, when I saw this, I went out today and I bought a bunch of Dr. Peppers and we're gonna do like Dr. Pepper and bourbon. Uh, but what bourbon should I try? Y'all let me know what bourbon I should mix with Dr. Pepper for the video I'm shooting tomorrow. Weller Antique is fantastic, um, for sure. It's one of my faves. You like the Reserve better? I can't, I can't get on board with that, Bill. Like, I just have to respectfully disagree. Like, the Reserve's fine. Good pour. But I need that 107 proof, for sure. So, uh, all good, though. All good. No hate. Try cookie dough rye whiskey. It is amazing. You, okay. I believe you. I believe you. I'm having a hard time believing you, but I believe you. Ken Miller's at work. Well, thanks for joining at work. Hopefully you don't get in any trouble. The Costco Scotch probably has a camera with the feed to the employee lounge, so they just get a laugh at all the gawkers. You probably, that would be funny. I bet they do that. It looks like bourbon, but tastes like a white dog. Um, okay, what are we talking about? I'm trying to see if there was like a previous comment that I missed. Woodford Honey, any recommendations for a good honey finished whiskey? Uh, I haven't tried Woodford honey. Uh, I did get this. Um, I don't have a lot of honey finished stuff because I'm not a big fan of honey finish. But I did get this uh, Red Line, Red Line honey cask that I actually it's an MGP whiskey I think um, that is finished in a honey barrel. I I actually thought that was pretty freaking good. The honey was really subtle and just on the finish and and that really uh, really added to it. Ah, uh, Kara, what's going on? How are you doing? Uh, on the barrel pick, yes, we have uh, decided to move forward on the barrel pick. Um, I owe barrel a review of the Vantage, which I'm, I shot yesterday, but we had a little technical difficulties with one of the cameras. So I'm shooting that again tomorrow, and then I'm going to start having communications with them. So again, we're going to hook up with the um, patrons, the channel members on YouTube, and the live stream subscribers on TikTok and see if we can't get a crew together that'll go up there and help pick that barrel. So um, stay tuned for that. It'll probably be a week or two before I have any real, maybe two weeks at least before I have any real details on it. Uh, Crown Royal Salted Caramel. I haven't had that one yet. Um, I've had most of the others crowns though. Spirals, I'll stick with my whiskey stones. All right. That's a whole different thing though, right? Um, 
Where's Jill? She, uh, Lance, she just doesn't like streaming that much, I guess. I don't know, man. I'm trying to talk. It's a better stream when she's on it, but it's a better stream when she's on it. But she, she didn't want to be on it today, so... Mix George Dickel with Dr. Pepper. That's not going to happen, Mike. I'm not, like, George Dickel, the only thing it mixes with is my drain. Midwinter Nights Dram any good. Again, Finnish whiskey is a blend of Finnish whiskeys. Not my favorite thing in the entire world, but a lot of people love it. And so if you like finished whiskeys, that's going to be a really good one for you. Not my favorite thing. I enjoy it. Not my favorite thing. Um, I, have, I bought a Heaven's Door 10, but I haven't tried it yet. This is just the single barrel. I'm going to get some Starlight. I, the Starlight I have, I don't like, but it's it's an Amberana finish. 40K without membership. I saw that. 45, I think they said on TikTok. Uh, Jim Beam or Jack both got a honey. Those are different, Brian. Um, so I actually bought a Jim Beam. Or was it? Is it the honey? I don't know. I bought one of the Jim Beam flavored. Those are liqueurs. Those are different. So what they're asking for is a honey finish where... You basically take a barrel and you put honey in it and you age the honey in like a bourbon barrel. And then you take all the honey out and you put the bourbon in that barrel to, to add a little more honey flavor. What you're talking about with like the jack honey or the wild turkey honey, those are not honey finished. Those are just kind of honey flavored liqueurs that have some, some whiskey added to them. Elijah Rye is actually really good. I do like that for sure. Uh, and I'm sorry, I missed a few comments over on TikTok. Widow J is pretty good. From batch to batch, it varies. It's got some George Dickel in it, which I'm not a fan of, but they do a good job of blending it to where in a lot of batches, it's not super noticeable for me. Boone County had a wonderful honey cast finish. I haven't tried that one. Uh, yes, I do have some E.H. Taylor on the top shelf. I don't... Yeah, it's over, over here on TikTok, so... Fifth quarter just liked and subscribed. Everybody, hey, if you're on TikTok particularly, pop the likes, hit that like button. Let's pump those guys up. Let's get a few more folks in here. I've got one more, maybe two more news stories. I think I got two more news stories to go over here. But I, hey, again, this Dr. Pepper, you gotta be like a Dr. Pepper rewards member to get one of these. And I'm not going through that crap. But if anybody has access to getting one of these Fanville Reserve Dr. Pepper flavored bourbon things, I would be very interested in acquiring one. I'm just going to check eBay, see if somebody's selling one for way too much money, uh, that kind of thing. But So they announced this week that Pappy Van Winkle is actually going to release a lot more bottles this year than they have in the past and that they were anticipating. Now, it's like they're not going to do, I don't know if they're going to do more barrels necessarily. They did say, well, I guess a few more barrels, but they did say the barrels were maturing faster than they thought, and the barrels ended up having a higher yield. That usually happens when they mature faster um, because they just haven't been in the warehouse for quite as long. So it looks like maybe there's going to be more pappy, which means what? What does that mean? That means you're still not going to be able to get any pappy. Like if pappies, if pappies put out 10 times the amount of whiskey that they put out last year, you're still not going to walk into a store and find one. So this is great, but it means very little for like actually finding Pappy. Like that's, you know, the demand is like a hundred times what they actually produce. Old Forster single barrel barrel strength rye. Haven't had that one. I've had a lot of Old Forster single barrel barrel strength, but not the rye. Jefferson's Ocean Rye. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy that one. Wouldn't buy that. Tyler's a distiller and would, would love to send a bottle of my product. Um, well, I mean, you should be able to send it to me. I think I just took my P.O. box out of my bio over on TikTok, but join the Discord, send me a direct message. I'll answer. We'll get that worked out. As long as it's all legit. Like, if it's just a bottle you, like, pour it in your house and you send it to me, I'm probably not going to open it because we get some crazies in here. You know, we get a few we get a few cray craze from time to time. Didn't care much for the Heaven's Door. This one is a little mineral forward. I will give you that. It is a little mineral forward. Uh, and that's the only real knock. But it is kind of a weird, like, oaky first and sweet last, which is weird. Haven't had a horse soldier. Uh, Barstown Discovery, some of them are really good. So, some of them are really good. The Real Robert Rodriguez. All right. I agree. Very, very zesty. More pappy. How many bottles per barrel? I mean, most barrels are going to produce, what, 150 to a couple of hundred, 
maybe 250, depending on the proof they're watering it down to. Um, what's up, Jill? How are you? You've been watching the live stream? Everybody asked where you were. Because I heard you tell everybody I didn't want to stream. What, did you want to stream? Number one, you didn't ask me. It's an open invitation every Monday. And number two, me and you have your dental procedure, so I was upset with her. Yes, our, our daughter had, had a crown. Did you want to stream? Yeah, but you didn't ask me. I mean, not today because of me, but... I did buy some Mountain Dews, but I plan on using them for videos. Is she sick? Does she have one tonight? It's a small one. It's fine. She want two? She's a lady. Okay. Well, then you're going to have to come over here and keep people entertained. Here, try this. Try this uh, Heaven's Door right here while I go get some. No, 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 no. <laughs> you're going to keep people entertained. I can't entertain. Hello, everybody. Hold on. Wait, let me let me put you back. Let me put you back wide here. Hold on. Put me back wide. Yeah, now you, there you go. Hi, everyone. You can say hi. Hello, again. Kelly Michael Conway. <laughs> Is Michael supposedly? Hello, Michael. Hey, Jill, I've got Mountain Dew, not Mellow Yellow. Mountain Dew's fine. Okay. He told y'all I didn't want to stream. He didn't ask me to stream, first of all. I ask you every week. And stream. second of all, I couldn't because our daughter is not feeling the best in the world today. She had a dental procedure. She's feeling fine enough for you to stream. No, she's not. She was laying on there watching a movie you with try a that mommy. whiskey right there. What is this? That is Heaven's Door Single Barrel. Ooh, that smells good. What's that? Ooh, you know I ain't gonna like that. It's a high proof, yes. For a first pour, it's a little hot. What are your thoughts? Well, that's real good. <laughs> I take that back. It does burn, though. Whew. That's really good. Okay. I like that. You like that one. I do. All there right, everybody. Go. I got to go back to my mama duties. Get out of here. You said duty. I did say duty. <laughs> my, my motherly Obligation. obligations. Yes. Get out of here. You You're ruining the stream. Bye, everybody. You added like 15 people on YouTube. Y'all don't now miss me leave. too much. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. Now you're going to block the camera. You're going to just stare at it as you walk by. A little blurry. <laughs> all right, let's go. Oh, you need to... Is that all you needed? I think so. Oh, I definitely have some competition. Everybody said hello. I assume she saw all that. Poor kid. I know. I know. I know. Um, I mean, after 10 years, it might it might not. I don't know. But I'm just saying, in general, that's what barrels tend to tend to put out. But you 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 know you never really can tell. Crown Royal 18. You haven't had it. Which old Forester? I like the high proofs of the 1920, but the 1910. But honestly, 86 proof is good. 100 proof is good. Everything with old Forester on it is actually pretty good stuff. Um, just keep it clean. <laughs> Buying some Heaven's Door. Jill, Jill just increased Heaven's Door stock. Their their valuation just went up, and they're gonna sell like 50 more bottles tomorrow. I have not had the 150th anniversary batch that I'm aware of. I've had some limited. Old Forster stuff, but I wasn't 100% sure what they were. Like, folks were just, give daughter one half shot, knock her out. Ah, you know, there's a, there's time for things. There's time for things. Yeah, the the mods, uh, I mean, those dating sites over on YouTube get, get kind of aggressive, man. Those dating bots. All right, so what have I got? What have I got? I've also got, like, one more thing, but it's okay. We'll forget all of that. Let's just get back to streaming and hanging out. No need for all of the new stuff. But do y'all like that? I mean, I know, again, on TikTok, we can't really see it. But on YouTube, I could show them to you. Hopefully, y'all enjoy talking about something more than just random. But if not, we'll keep it random. Took a taste of Chestnut Farm and Bottle and Bond. Not great. I haven't tried that. Yeah, I don't know. We need to add some more. I'm going to add some more mods. All right, we're going to add some more mods. I'm going to give some of the folks that have been hanging out. Now, don't 
don't take this a little too far, you know. Let's not, Mr. Salty's now a mod. Lance is now a mod. They were just kind of popping up on here, so they should now be moderators. Let me know if you don't have moderator capabilities. But that way, you know, you can help Cheech out because Cheech is a hardworking man. Uh, Kentucky Owl, I don't have, the only Kentucky Owl I have is the, is the Confiscated, and I'm just not a huge fan of it. And I've been seeing batches. I saw a batch 10 and a batch 11, but both of them are like $350 to $400. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Are you talking about over here on TikTok? Um, I, like Navy Vet, I don't, have, I don't know if I've seen you in here enough to make you a mod yet. I do need to add some more over on TikTok, though, seriously. Um, who are some of my regulars that are in here? Yeah, Lance, I appreciate the help. Appreciate y'all, uh, you know, keeping it straight over there. Ex Brevard, girlfriend and I say, what's up? What's going on? Getting some live stream requests over on TikTok. I'm sitting here hitting decline, but it won't let me decline it. So, oh, well. What's the worst whiskey? I hate shitting on small distilleries. I hate talking bad about them. I hate, I hate. I hate talking bad about them. And most of the stuff I've had that's really bad has been small distilleries or finished stuff. So I can talk about the finished stuff that sucks. Uh, like the Jefferson's Pritchard Hill or their like Cabernet finished whiskey. Oh, I hate those. Hate them. Turning 23 tonight, Brever. Congratulations. Hopefully you're not celebrating that, hanging out, watching this. Uh, I have not had the BRT-01 or BRT-02, but if I come across them, I will most definitely pick them up. I love the FAE-01 and 02 last year. Uh, yeah, Bob Dylan does have something to do with this particular uh, label. I don't know his involvement, but he is an investor or owner or something of that nature. And they are like milking his name a bit um, with their publicity and press and stuff. Old Crow, haven't had, haven't had it. Fifth, fifth quarter can vouch... Um, Cheech can vouch that you're a good mom. Well, Cheech vouches for you. I'll, I'll add you as a mom. Appreciate it. Is that H L A H R? Halar? I don't know what to. I don't know what to call you. We'll go. We'll go with Halar, or maybe just Lar. I'll just do Lar. The first H is silent. Both H's silent. Line drive home run. We go way back. We do go pretty far back, I think. That name, that name sounds familiar. I think I've seen you in here for quite some time, right? Mr. Clean, will it start a mower? This? 116 proof, no, it will not. Is Eagle Rare worth $80? It's a 10-year-old whiskey from a very well-known and reputable distiller. Um, it's a $30 bottle, though. I wouldn't pay 80 bucks for it. Less than 50 for me, really less than 45. I typically will pick it up, you know, 40-ish dollars, maybe 44 or 99 or something if I really need a bottle, but I wouldn't pay 80 bucks for it. It's pretty good though. Uh, this is a, a single barrel cask strength, yes. Kara's turning 30 today and you're here hanging out with me. I, I tell you what, that's an honor. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Most overrated, most underrated. Um, for me, the most overrated I've had in a while is probably um, Elmer T. Lee. Like, good good whiskey, but Lord, it's not worth the hype. Um, underrated are still the kind of, you know, affordable bourbons that folks don't, don't necessarily go out of the way for, right? Like your uh, rare breed. Um, See, I'm trying to find some. Oh, that barrel store pick is way underrated. Um, but it's a store pick, so you can't really replicate that. Um, I still think Weller Antique 107 is underrated. I, I, I don't think, I think it's underrated because they make so much of it. Um, so it's not like terribly impossible for most people to find. But I don't know. The whiskey these days, not a whole lot's underrated, honestly. Not a whole lot's underrated. I don't drink a ton of moonshine. Cheers. Appreciate it. Line drive. Uh, yeah, I did design the bar that looks like a Broy Hill. So that, like, let's show them on YouTube here. I'll widen out. Y'all can only see a little bit of it on YouTube. I kind of tightened up the view a little bit. But you can see the a little bit of the front here that looks like a Broy Hill dresser. So when I bought this house, this was, this was just a series of closets. So there were a bunch of closets through here. 
and we've got kind of a stairway that comes down and the atrium over there that's got like a bunch of plants in it. And I've put up truss work and blocked all that crap off, which I, I wish I didn't have to, but I'm trying to trying to build a nice production set here. Um, so I had this bar built by a local woodworker, um, the bar top and in the front. And we added that that design across the front to make it look like that Broyhill dresser. I kind of the whole house is kind of that 60s mid-century modern vibe. It was built in the 70s, but it still has that kind of vibe. So I wanted to go with that for the bar top as well. Ah, Stag Jr. is pretty freaking good. Some of those batches are fantastic. Um, so it maybe depends on the batch, but yeah, maybe. My favorite rise, Michter's Barrel Strength. Yeah, nothing wrong with Rare Breed. YouTube locked up, really? Or does anybody have any problems over on YouTube? Let me know. Did we screw something up on YouTube? Is everything good over there? Not a fa I mean, some of the Jeffersons, just their finished, a lot of their finished stuff. So like Jefferson's Ocean depends on the batch. Their wood finishing series in the little small bottles was fantastic. Yeah, Eagle Rare, I, 80 bucks, I would have a hard time. I try not to judge folks. You know, pay what you want for a bottle, but 80 bucks is a lot for me for that bottle. Evan Williams, single barrel, 2013. I have not, Joe, but man, if you got a couple extra laying around, let me know. Uh, 1792 small, but it's fine. Like, I don't dislike it, but it's not something I go to a bunch either. I keep hearing good things about it. I keep wanting to go back and give it more tries. I don't even think I have a small batch open right now. I think we drank it. I didn't buy another one. I have single barrel. I have barrel proof. I have 12 year, but not, not a small batch. Never seen a bottle of Weller Antique in Kansas. Uh, well, you know, they still, they make, I see it more here in Alabama than any other Weller product. So more than the 12, more than the uh, foolproof. I probably see it as much or more than the special reserve here. So um, it's just one of those things. Like it's not terribly hard to find. I haven't had Johnny Walker Blue. Um, I want to buy it, but it's super expensive and I just don't know if I like it. Appreciate it, Buzz. Uh, Russell's Reserve, yeah, Russell's Reserve is, it's up there. Now, the thing that keeps me from loving it is that bitter, I get a lot of bitter oak on Russell's products. And I like it a lot, but that bitter oak keeps me from just outright loving it. Um, but it's still a really, really solid bottle at that price point for sure. Batch 11, Kentucky Owl, Batch 11 um, is what I was talking about there. Um, so Kentucky Owl comes out with, you know, different batches. I hear batch nine, a lot of folks, I hear, I think it was ADHD whiskey said batch nine may have been the best whiskey he's ever tasted. Um, so Kentucky Owl makes some good stuff, but I, I just, I'm not the guy that's paying 300 something dollars. I know it doesn't look that way with some of the bottles I've got on the top shelf, but I'm not the guy that's paying 300 something dollars for bottles of bourbon. Um, send it to Florida, see Special Reserve more in South Alabama. Here the drop, Weller Antique 107 used to be in the drop every week, um, but it's, or every month, excuse me, every month, but it's been gone. Michael needs a date. Madigan, Michael Madigan. Uh, sorry about that, man. All good. Charles says all good on YouTube, so not sure what happened. When's the last time you found a bottle of Pappy in stores? Uh, I mean, back, back when Pappy was available in stores, I wasn't looking for it. So I was just drinking Jack Daniels. What's up, Walrus? Had to have 107 sent to California. Yeah, there's a lot of places to get it, you know, secondary groups. Uh, again, my favorite rye is Mictor's Barrel Strength Rye. I haven't had Mellow Corn, but it's on the list. I want to do it for a video. Uh, Buffalo Trace is pretty good. I mean, it's a great bottle of whiskey for 25 bucks. Like, value-wise, if you get it for 25 bucks, it's hard to beat. Which Four Roses what? Um, I like Four Roses Single Barrel Barrel Strength stuff. If that's what you're talking about, what's on the shelf. It's their limited release from 2020 and the uh, Four Roses Barrel Strength Single Barrel. I have not had Hall Halliday's. have not had that. Ah, uh, Basil Hayden Calumet. Now, it depends on what Calumet you're talking about, but Basil Hayden's is a, what, an 80 proof, pretty easy sipper. Chat, let me know. What would you say? If somebody said, what, what do you have similar to Basil Hayden? So... What would you what would you recommend that's similar to Basil Hayden? Um, like most of my Jim Beam stuff skews really high proof, so that 80 90 proof is not going to be you know, it's not going to be in that in that realm. So I'm trying to find something that I would say okay that's kind of similar, 
you know, similar level of easy drinkability with kind of that similar flavor profile? I, I just don't have a good answer for it. Twice that question's been asked. I don't have a good answer. I'm going to find one, though. What do I think about wheel horse? I don't know anything about wheel horse. Uh, what is it? Let me know. Mictor's barrel strength rise, incredible, and 22 didn't disappoint. Nice. Glow-in-the-dark bottle, Las Vegas Halloween glow-in-the-dark. That sounds like fun. Are you just collecting it? Like, what do you do with that? I.W. Harper's not bad. Angels Envy Rye, I hear it's good. I haven't tried it. I haven't tried it. Tap water. What are we saying, Circle? Larceny for... <laughs> what are you talking Basil Hayden? Uh, I like Larceny for $25. Yeah, it's not bad. I, I, it, for Larceny, with me for Larceny, it's just about got to be the barrel strength, though. Elmer T. Lee and Weller's going for over 500 bucks, which is just nuts. Like, that's just crazy talk. Old Granddad, that might be pretty good. Uh, Old Tub, 100 proof Jim Beam product, if you can get that. Um, that's probably going to be similar. A little higher proof, though, so you're going to have to, you know, most folks that I see that like Basil Hayden just like the low proof. You know, a little complexity to it, and they like the low proof. Special Reserve's always in stock in Texas. I'm going to test that here pretty soon. We're going to go to Texas, do some bourbon hunting, I think, sometime next year. Old Granddad's the same mash bill. That's a good point. So Old Granddad, you can get Old Granddad 80 proof. Try that. Old Granddad bonded, um, or step up to the, which is 100 proof, or step up to the 114. Got to be similar. It's a good point. Hadn't thought of that one. Used to be McCormick's, but they released their new bourbon. It's out of M.O. I haven't tried that. I haven't seen it. Uh, the one orphan barrel I have, Michael's freaking fantastic. It's low proof. I didn't, like I've passed on a couple of bottles. They were, they were marked up to, you know, secondary prices. But it's like, it's low proof. I'm not going to like it for that price. But God, it was, it's so freaking good. Best bourbon for the money. I haven't done the bourbon trail. So the best bourbon for the money, probably Buffalo Trace. 25 bucks for a Buffalo Trace. Probably the best value for the for the budget right there. Uh, Blanton's worth what? 60 bucks? Yes, absolutely. 130? Yeah, no. Like I'll buy Blanton's at less than 100. If I were just drinking it, I wouldn't pay 100 for it. Maybe 70, 80 if I really needed one and didn't have one. But at $100... I buy it just because I know somebody will want it or we'll do something stupid with it. Um, I have some yellow rose back there, but it's been a while since I've drank it, so I'm not real sure. Small batch bottle that's glowing. Yeah, yeah, that's what they were saying fifth quarter over on TikTok is the Smoke Wagon Halloween small batch bottle is glow in the dark. But, like, would you drink that or you just hold on to it? Like, is that just a collectible? Because that seems, seems weird. The Kentucky Al St. Patrick's edition is just awful. Um, it doesn't sound like, why would you need a St. Patrick's bourbon? I don't like, why do they do a St. Patrick's bourbon? It's supposed to, is it green? Is it, it I mean, sure it's a green label, but they just it, diet green, take a normal bourbon, diet green. Now it's a St. Patrick's bourbon. $63 for a knob 12. That's a, actually a really good value. A 12 year old for 63 bucks. Not bad. Uh, well, we've tried both of those. I'm supposed to be not drinking so much. So, 9.33, been going for about an hour and a half. Uh, $2,200 for William LaRue Weller. I mean, that's really about market price on the secondary for that bottle, whereas those other ones are way above market price, but that's still a nuts. I wouldn't pay that for it. I love the bottle, but I'd never, it's my favorite bottle in the entire world. I'd never pay that for it. Why well, prefer higher proof? Okay, so normally, as you, as you ease into drinking whiskey, if you start drinking it neat, um, when you first start drinking it neat, the proof's going to be off-putting, right? It's just going to, you're not going to, you're just going to smell alcohol. It's going to burn like crazy. You're not going to pick up a lot of notes. You're going to get yourself a good glass, which is going to help with it a little bit. And you start developing techniques for how you consume it to where you don't get as much burn, right? Like you, you swallow it to where it just doesn't go down the middle of your throat and burn you to death. And what you start finding out, though, is that higher proof whiskeys tend to have a lot more flavor. Those flavors are more intense. It's more complex. You can pick up, you know, three or four different flavors. It's a little thicker. It coats your mouth better. And so I tend to like higher proof whiskeys. Now, normally, I'm not looking for something that's like 116 proof. 
I'm normally looking for something that's 100 to 107. Um, this has a little extra heat to it. It doesn't bother me, like I'm accustomed to it, uh, but it does have a little extra heat that I think kind of detracts from it just a, just a hair. Uh, but that's normally why I'm looking for 100 to 107 proof, not 80 or 90. Those just kind of, those are just watered down. Like there's just not a, so when I say they're watered down, when I say they drink like water, if, you know, if you're as experienced drinking bourbon neat with a good glass as I am, an 80 proofer has almost no burn, uh, most of them. But you, they're also just really thin. So when I say they drink like water, not a ton of burn for me, and there's just not a ton of flavor uh, to go along with that. So easy sipper, if you're drinking for effect, you could get a lot of that down really quickly if that's what you want to do. But that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to have a couple of pours in an evening and really savor and enjoy all of those, all that those have to offer. Uh, I hear really bad things about Calumet Eight Year. So really, really don't don't recommend it just from what I've heard. So White Label Evan Williams is the best for the price. I that's hard to disagree with. That's hard to disagree with. I mean, 17 bucks around here. Cheaper in other places. Evan Williams bottle and bonds, good stuff. Douglas, appreciate you hanging out. The St. Patrick's bourbon was a collab with the master distillers of KO and Middleton in Ireland. Well, that, that then that at least makes sense. Um, Weller single barrel for 15. That is that's at least double secondary, maybe more than double secondary. That's crazy. Crazy talk. Um did my Googles beforehand. Let's see. Trying to catch up here. Appreciate it, Salty. Get them to pump those lights. I need one more pour, Austin. I probably do. I probably do. What should I have? A neat glass is better than a Glen Cairn. Uh, so you, when you say neat glass, are you talking about the ones by Aged and Ore neat glass? So they have kind of this shape. Um, those are really good. They're heavy. They got a nice heavy bottom. I think mine are dirty right now. Um, but they are pretty good. I do enjoy those. I, I like a Glen just, I don't know, it's just kind of light. Those are kind of heavy, but I do enjoy those as well. Glens is good stuff. Nothing wrong with that, Marcus, for sure. Navin Cognac, I haven't tried that. Do I enjoy sour mashes? I, I mean, some of them, right? Like the Elmer T. Lee that I was hating on. Fine whiskey, it's a sour mash. I don't think there's anything about that whiskey when I drink it. I said, this is a sour mash, right? So I don't really seek out sour mashes or anything. Honestly, don't ever even look to see if something is a sour mash when I get it. Ezra Brooks cash strength just picked it up. I don't think I have, I do have like the master distillers collection from Ezra, which is cash strength, but I don't think I've had that one. So I've heard mixed reviews about it though. Best weeder is a uh, Weller. Drink the Pappy. Ah, Pappy's really good. Um, so it's definitely any count. Um, it's not worth thousands of dollars, but it's it's good whiskey for sure. The second pour of Uncle Nearest 1856 is quite nice. Awesome. Cheers, Rob. Uh, I really like the Jay Mattingly stuff, honestly, Devin. Uh, it's, you know, super high proof. Uh, but every one I've had, the two I've had there, and I opened up another one and gave it to a friend, and we tried it before he took it. It was really good as well. So if you like high-proof stuff, some of that Jay Mattingly stuff hits pretty well. You scored. Rob scored up 107 this weekend. Nice. Good good job, Rob. Um, Oppidan? I haven't had Oppidan. Don't know anything about that one. What's a good price for Blanton's? If you've never had it, like under a hundred bucks, they just just buy. I would buy it under a hundred bucks if I didn't have one, or if I if I'd never had it. Realistically, 60, 70 bucks is a good price for Blanton's. Ah, uh, very old Saint Nick. I've had a couple of those bottles, but I never even opened them. A friend of mine is just a huge fan of those. So every time I get one, he just takes it off my hands. I tend to give too much whiskey away. I'll be honest with you. I, I need to keep them and try some of these. Eric Waters from Western North Carolina in the house. What's going on, Eric? What batch smoke wagon? This is not uncut. This The smoke wagon I have up there is small batch straight. Let's try that. Let's get that out. It's been a while since I've tried that. I think I've only had the neck pour on it. It wasn't anything that I just absolutely loved, but let's give it a fair shake here. How about that? That's what we'll do for our final pour.
So this is, again, I think these are MGP sourced, right? Brown, they beautiful bottle, beautiful bottle. It's got all these, you know, decorative vines or whatever, like a rose vine. Nevada HBC Distilling Co. Smoke Wagon Small Batch Straight Bourbon Whiskey coming in at 100 proof. I don't know if it tells us. I'm assuming it's going to say distilled in Indiana here. They put gold letters so you can't even see it with the light. Yeah, distilled in Indiana at the bottom, but I can't read the rest of that crap because when you put the light on it, it just shines. So distilled in Indiana, which means it's MGP, Midwest Grain Products, uh, is actually where they bought this barrel from. Woodford's good stuff. Um, I really like the double oaked more so than just a normal Woodford. Yeah, I bought the Fireball Keg. It's a little over the top, but it was such a fun meme. Uh, we we got a video coming out, probably come out this week or, or early next week on the uh, on the shorts. So you'll probably see it on TikTok and YouTube. Paid hundred and fifty dollars for what? Let's see. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, Stag Juniors. <sighs> okay, hundred fifty. I would do that. I would probably do that. Three hundred. Eh, I'm gonna roll on. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have a have a good day for a Stag Jr. $300, that's a little much for me. 82nd Airborne, I haven't had that. I saw it um, yesterday when I was looking for it, but I didn't didn't end up picking it up. Um, do you think if I don't get picked for the sweepstakes, I can, yeah, maybe, I don't know. The Stag Juniors are oftentimes gone, but it just depends on how early you get there, right? If you're early in line, like if you're top 10, top 20, yeah, you're liable to get one. Redbreast 12, haven't, haven't tried that one. It dropped here a few months ago, but I ended up not getting it. Um, how, do, how do you like it? Have you tried it? Worst pour, again, we try not to talk. I, George Dickel, we'll talk about George Dickel. That, I hate George Dickel. I just, I, I don't want to, I don't want to hate anything, but I just can't stand it. Again, this is pretty good whiskey. I'm just not getting a ton of complexity on it, though. At 100 proof, there's just so many nicer bottles on my shelf than that. And there's nothing wrong with it. That's not bad at all. Like, that's fine. But I'm just not going to buy another bottle. You paid 75 for Maker's Mark? Which Maker's Mark did you get for $75? This is not uncut. I, I would think I would probably like the uncut. Um, this is just their small batch. Paid eight fifty for an old rip. Uh, you know, you do you. You do you. Um, that's that's. I mean, that's below secondary price on it, right? So it's not a bad deal if you consider secondary prices. But that's a lot of money for that bottle. It, and I would. If you took that bottle and you blinded it against a Weller Antique 107, realistically, there's very subtle differences between those. Definitely not $700, $800, $900 dollars worth of difference between them. So, you just, <laughs> Salty just timed out, Tommy. Uh, sorry, Tommy. Cheech, or, or Cheech. Um, I try to get you some help and Salty just goes, Goes rogue. Did you drop your phone and then timed him out? Is that what happened? Uh, people go crazy for Smoke Wagon. It's a really nice bottle. It's MGP source. There's a lot of good MGP stuff. This is fine. It's not bad. It's just not, like I'm just not, honestly, I liked both of these more, I think. Not that I think, I like both of those more. Booger's is good stuff. It's an acquired taste though. Do you ever water down your whiskey? I did a video where I watered it down and here's the thing. There's a lot of folks that just don't get bourbon. Like bourbon is one of those kind of, kind of bougie hoppy, hoppies, bougie hobbies. I, I've only had two, two pours. Um, I know what you're thinking. It's one of those bougie hobbies. I try to use a $5 word like bougie and I mess it up. Okay. Um, it's one of those, what most people that are not into it just don't get it, right? Like they don't understand why you would drink it without ice, why you would not mix it in Coke or a mixed drink. Why would you have swanky little special glasses for it? And why would you have special little limestone water to water it down with a couple of eyedroppers? And there's just 
all of this, you know, kind of craziness that goes into this hobby that most people just don't really understand or get. And when they see it and their experience, you know, they experience it for the first time, they're just a little little skeptical or they, they, so they see my videos and they give me a little hell. So we did a water test where we just put two drops of limestone water and two drops of distilled water in a whiskey, like Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. And honestly, just a little water makes a huge difference to a whiskey. So if you get like an ounce pour, an ounce and a half pour, even a two ounce pour, and you put a couple of drops of water into a high proof whiskey, that's gonna really change the flavor and open it up. It's gonna cut that ethanol a lot, um, and it's just gonna make it a slightly different experience. And oftentimes, if something's super high proof, you can pick up a lot more um, flavors and notes from it than you could if you just drank it straight. And so, watered it down's cool like that. Like, I'm not gonna just mix it with water, but really, it doesn't take a lot of water to make it just kind of a different experience. What's a good cheaper Four Roses? Four Roses single barrel. I mean, all the Four Roses are pretty good. I don't drink like the normal, like, you know, yellow label Four Roses, but the uh, Four Roses single barrel, small batch select. I don't know if any of those are like super cheap, but they're pretty good. Art big season coming up. I don't know if I'm into that. Miss Mary Jane's in the chat. Did I miss it? Hey, thanks for joining and hanging out. Uh, Jack single barrels are great. Everything Jack Daniels does, except for old number seven, is actually really good whiskey. And I mean, old number seven's a fine whiskey, but it's a mixer at best for me. Um, but all of their other stuff, the single barrel, barrel strength, the the bonded, the triple mash, the Jack 10, um, all of those are really, really good. OESO. I think I have like, is it OESV behind me there? Um, I believe. Haven't had Pendleton. Don't drink scotch. YouTube's kind of slowed down on the chat. What do we got? Am I behind or is it, does it freeze? Mr. Salty fat fingered by mistake. Well, I, I apologize there uh, for Tommy D getting timed out. Peerless single barrel. I like Peerless. I haven't had their single barrel though. Uh, older batches of SW smoke wagon uncut unfiltered like batch one through 40 ish. I have another bottle of smoke wagon back there. I don't even know what it is. It, I don't think it's uncut, unfiltered. I think it jumped a bit. I understand. Um, what's going on, Kyle? Adam in the house. Peerless is good stuff. All right. Fifth quarter got a little weird on me here. <laughs> Just posting quotes. What's the right of early times behind me? Down there to the right is Detling Cask Strength. Um, not something I recommend. E.H. Taylor, yeah, I got some on the shelf there. Good stuff. Love E.H. Taylor. OGD 114, I keep a bottle on hand at all times. Just got a Stag Junior Batch 2? I've not had a Batch 2, no, but... I don't know which Weller you said you traded, but a Basil Hayden and a Weller... As long as it wasn't a Weller, as long as it wasn't a foolproof, a single barrel, or a CYPB, you won that trade. Congratulations. Haven't had Rebecca Creek. Uh, what to try? You want to try something new? You want me to try something new there, Chuck? Favorite Buffalo Trace bourbon? Weller, and, uh, William Lurie Weller. Peerless Double Oak. See, Peerless, I don't think Peerless distributes in Alabama. So I've never seen it. I've, I've bought the one bottle I have, and the only place I've seen it is out of state. Now, that may change because I couldn't get an Elijah Craig Rye in the state of Alabama for a long time, and I just saw one on the shelf today. So um, you trade a Special Reserve and a Basil Hayden 10 for a Stag Junior Batch 2. I'd make that trade every day and twice on Sunday. That's a that's a good good trade. My daily drinker, Weller Antique 107, is the one I drink the most when I'm just enjoying something by myself. Not the first time Tommy's been timed out. He'll be back in a minute. Hopefully he hangs out. Oh, uh, what's your go-to bourbon after a long week? Again, a Weller Antique 107 is my guy. That's my ride or die right there. B. Ward, Brantley Ward, moving over to YouTube. Hey, the quality's better over there, man. The quality's better on YouTube. I don't make the rules. We're going to try to get that quality better on TikTok here soon, though. 
I I've not had old medley. Need a CYPB or Weller foolproof? Like I'd put my Weller foolproof in a lawnmower. I don't even have like I think I've got a little bit of a bottle left up there, but not much. So Ocean's Prime? You talking about like Jefferson's Ocean? I don't know what you mean by Ocean's Prime. Filmland Spirits. Don't know what that is. Um, but if I had it, I'd try it. I have not had the Widow Jane Decadence, but I like a lot of the Widow Jane stuff. T-Bone, thanks for your concern. I appreciate it, but I actually do not drink every day. Usually just Mondays and Wednesdays when we do these live streams. I will have to drink a little bit tomorrow because I'm filming some videos, but it's going to be very light, I assure you. So don't worry. I live up around Hoover. Uh, would you be willing to trade? I don't have one. Like, I'm completely out of Weller 12. So, I just, I don't do a lot of trading. Like, we don't talk about these things publicly. You know, that, that gets a little sketch. So, you know, we're not, we're not doing those types of things on live streams for sure. Um, but I don't, I don't even have one. So, like, I couldn't help you out there if I wanted to. Um, Oregon whiskey. I don't, like, what's, an, I don't even know an Oregon whiskey brand. Eagle Rare, good stuff. It's new, got my bottles online, okay. I do, yeah, I love the Widow Jane 13. That's my favorite Widow Jane product. I don't, like the 10 is good, but it's got a little kind of George Dickel minerally taste. Um, and the 15 just tasted like straight George Dickel, so I gave that bottle away. Lucas from Maine, thanks for joining. Haven't tried a lot of Japanese whiskey, I need to. I need some Old Crow. Gonna have to do that here pretty soon for a video. Rye, regular bourbon, and a cash. Nice. N nice. That's the problem when, you, when you're when you not drinking, your mouth dries out. Um, and then you just start lifting, you know? Ah. Peppy 12, Lot B, my opinion. Um, I like Lot B. I think Lot B might be, it would be, probably be my favorite Pappies if it were 107 proof. Like, it's proof way down, but it's really, really, you know, it's a really good bottle. Not worth the crazy price. I wouldn't pay $1,200 for one, but it's good stuff. Try any brewery whiskeys? A lot of beer guys are trying to jump into the whiskey market. I I haven't seen any brewery whiskeys, but I would, uh, I would do that. Robert jumped over to uh, YouTube as well. The vibe is different. It's a little more laid back over on YouTube, right? So... You know, if you're just kind of chill and they, you know, they have a little more conversation amongst themselves, whereas TikTok, a lot of those folks just come and go. Now, we got some OGs, some regulars in there, but a lot of folks just come in, ask me for my thoughts on Angel's Envy, and then bounce out of here. A couple of shots of Old Crow. Nice. Uh, Blood Oath. I have six, seven, eight. I haven't loved any of them. I think I like the eight the most, though. Um, but it's pretty good, but it's, it's not... Not something that I uh, that I just seek out. Like they tend to find me every year rather than me finding them. Uh, my most prized bottle. Um, I've got my my first grandchild was born last year, so I got a bottle of um, Old Forester Birthday Bourbon um, from last year, and we're gonna save that until she's twenty one to um, to drink that bottle. So that that's that's the one right there. That's the one I want open. That's the only one I got that we won't open, at least for now. Elijah Craig 18 and E.H. Taylor are your favorite bottles so far. Nice. Both of those are good. I have an Elijah Craig 18. I haven't even opened it. Um, Castle and Key stuff. I hear mixed reviews. The only one I've got is a store pick restoration rye, and it is very, very rye. Extremely rye. Any Heaven Hill 17 down my way? If there were any Heaven Hill 17s down my way, I'd own them. They'd be standing behind me on the shelf. I'd have a whole shelf of Heaven Hill 17s. But no, they dropped several several months ago but you had to like you had to show up two days beforehand and wait in line just got a bottle of calumet 15 from a birthday haven't opened it yet uh, i like the 15 i like the 16 a little better but i thought the calumet 15 was a solid pour uh saw sam and tried putting out a whiskey oh you, you saw that sam's had released a whiskey um, again, in Alabama, places like that don't usually sell whiskey, um, but I, I'll go check and make sure they haven't released one. But like here in Alabama, because of the way the distribution is, normally like you know grocery stores and Sam's Clubs 
don't sell whiskey. I do think Costco does, um, but I, like we don't have a Costco. Not not locally, anyway. Treehouse Brewing released a bourbon. It's probably not good. Yeah, Bill, it's it's definitely young for sure. Oh, Sam, Sam Adams. Okay, I thought you meant Sam's Club. Sam Adams tried to put out a bourbon? Ooh. Okay. Cap. Preston says cap. What, what are you calling cap on? What did I miss? What was the cap? Wild turkey? Love it. Oh, the 101 wild turkey. The higher proof stuff is really good. Um, but, you know, maybe they just got a different flavor profile. Nothing wrong with that. Try a bunch of different stuff. Y'all will find some stuff that you like together for sure. EC 18 years. Fantastic. Opened it last week. North Alabama, but in Atlanta. Awesome. I'm down in Opelika, so I'm just right across the border down 85 from Atlanta there. Small batch is better than Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered. That is an unpopular opinion. That is an unpopular opinion. I haven't tried it. What's a bottle you've been searching for but can't find? I mean, uh, Coy Hill, uh, the Heaven Hill 17. Um, I, I need, you know... I like to get the old Forster birthday bourbon this year. I don't know if that'll happen. Like Alabama hasn't hasn't released them yet. Um, what else was there that I'm looking for? But old Fitz 13. That's that's on my list. I may have a lead on one of those. I'm supposed to text a guy that owns a chain of liquor stores, but I'm I'm a little behind on my messages, so I gotta I gotta get with them. Um, how am I reading my phone from that far away? That is a good question. If you were on YouTube, I could show you. But what we actually do is um, I've got a full setup here. So on YouTube, we use the big camera. So I got a camera here and I got a second camera for close-ups. So if I like wanted to show this bottle on YouTube, I could uh, click this button right here. I got to get over to my streaming rig there, but I click this button right here and then we can zoom in on the bottle and they can see the label and all the cool things. Um, and then we can zoom back out. On TikTok, what we do is in between those cameras, I've got an iPad mounted and it's too far away for me to read. But what I do is I bought these really tall monitors, turn them up on their side and I mirror that screen to that monitor so that it is much, much bigger for me to be able to read it with y'all that far away. Um, so just trying to make the best of, you know, so I, you've got the TikTok chat here and then over here is the YouTube chat. So, and it's on the same same monitor uh, turned up sideways. Sam Adams has the Utopia Ultra Aged. What about white whiskey? I mean, you're talking about like white dog. So unaged whiskey, it's not for drinking. That's for like aging yourself in a barrel or, or doing something like that, right? Um, yeah, Costco, I, I mean, I, the Kirkland Costco stuff I hear is pretty good. I think it's made by Barton. Um, bring me some. I, I don't, I don't have any, so I haven't tried it. Boulevard. My wife loves Boulevard's weeded beer. So if they had a, if they had a bourbon, we would definitely try it. Um, for sure. What do I think of rabbit hole? It's good. It's a little pricey for what it is, but I think they'll figure it out. Um, heavy drinker and an eater, not a smart man. Hmm. Well, well, why don't you come on over and we'll have an IQ test and we'll see how that works out for you. Not impressed with Smoke Wagon. Um, well, you know, I, I'm not loving it. It's fine. I'm not loving it. Doer's 12 year. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I haven't had it. All right. It's getting a little out of hand here over on TikTok. We may just go ahead and cut that shit off. What's up, bourbon lover? 69, man. How you doing? Uh, it's been a few minutes. It's been, what, at least three days since I talked to you. Best bourbon under $30. Buffalo Trace, if you can get it at MSRP on the regular, under $30. Bucks, uh, that you can walk into any store anywhere and get, I would say probably Wild Turkey 101. And, like You can just get it anywhere all the time. Who's your audio video guy, Robert? Are you Is that like in a good, are you saying positive or do I need to fix my audio? Um, I am my audio video guy at this point. So we are rocking a microphone. We've got the uh, a boom mic that sticks out here and hangs down. Uh, rocking a Sennheiser MKH416 running through a Rode um, Procaster. So hopefully that, uh, hopefully it sounds good. 
Just saw three bottles of coin. Yeah, 500 bucks. I'm not buying them. That's just, that's just where I'm at. Appreciate it, channel. Thanks uh, for hanging out. Got an Airbnb on the Bourbon Trail beside Woodford Reserve. Well, Logan, make sure you're in the Discord, man. We've been dropping. I'm going to do the Bourbon Trail here. Some Next year, we're going to hit the Bourbon Trail. We're going to do a lot of traveling next year. So, sipping a buffalo with you. Appreciate it. Uh, I love Evan Williams bottling bot. It's fantastic. Where are my Blantons? They're they're over here. They're over here on this shelf. I literally, one of they burn so bad. I, I don't think Jack Daniels burns that bad. Kentucky Al confiscated, fine, not a hundred fifty dollar bottle. And TikTok just started going crazy on the chat. That's, ooh, I'm not gonna be able to keep up. Is this the stream to be ignored while asking questions? Try to participate and get ignored. Anthony, did I like? I haven't seen anything. Did I miss something from Anthony? We're going to scroll up. We're going to scroll up and we're going to look for Anthony's. It's just, I'm, I'm working two chats, Anthony. So, like, I... Did somebody put Anthony in timeout? Or, like, I literally don't see a single comment from you until that one. So, I like, I don't... Sometimes, you know, sometimes these chats get a little crazy. So, if I'm not paying attention to you, if it's not a fast-moving chat and I'm not paying attention to you and I'm not answering your questions, reload the screen or something, because that is literally the first comment I think I've seen from you tonight. So I apologize if I missed them. It's not intentional. I'm not trying to ignore anybody. I'm literally trying to answer as many as I can. Uh, how do I organize my bottles? Randomly, haphazardly. There's no, uh, organization is not my thing. Bearded Brian, what's going on? What's my go-to drink? It's going to be a nice Weller Antique 107. Uh, early times is the next one to jump on. Yeah, I mean, early times bottled in bonds, fantastic, but it's not as good as the old Brown Foreman version. So intelligent people use YouTube. Um, yeah, audio is great. Charles says nice. Awesome. Well, thank you, Robert. Um, these are, you know, Lumix GH5 S's like we, we've got a pretty good setup. So hopefully we'll keep, we're going to keep improving it though. What about three Heaven Hill 17s? What about them? You got three? You need to get rid of three? Like, we'll work this out. We'll make a deal. We'll figure it out. Very legally. Don't join the Discord. They just ignore you if you're trying to learn. What? What? I don't know what the hell Anthony's talking about. I don't like. All right, cool. Now Anthony's agitated me because I would never do that. Just trolling. I get you. He's probably just trolling. He's probably just trolling. It's fine. I'm going to move on. It's cool. It's cool. Hey, somebody just get him on out of here. Just get him on out. We never do that. Just get him on out. I don't need the negativity. Just get him on out of here. Nine bonded. I have not. I, like I said, Doers 12. I haven't had Doers 12. Don't drink Doers. Jefferson's Ocean is amazing and people just love to hate the brand. Well, some of them are not great though, really. Some of them, it just depends on the batch. So maybe you've just had the good batches or maybe you just like them all. Um, 150 for an E.H. Taylor single barrel is not a terrible price. That's a solid markup though. It is a solid markup, but they're going for more than that on secondary. So yeah, I've got a few pappies on the top shelf there. Uh, Makers 46, pretty good. French oak, not my favorite finish, but pretty good. I do have a St. Cloud Poseidon, which I think is like a 12-year St. Cloud. It was pretty good. It's I think it's MGP source stuff, though. Old Forster is always freaking good. Nothing wrong with Old Forster. I know. Anthony's just trying to give me, he's trying to get my blood pressure up. That's okay. That's all good. He can't do it. We moved on now. We're done now. We're done world full of Karens, man. We're just trying to chill out and have a good time. But that's, here's the thing though. Here's the thing. That's why that, honestly, that's a good troll. If you're trying to troll me because I care, like I try to answer every freaking question I could possibly answer and I can't get to them all. I only have so much time and I really want to make sure with everything we do, we're as beginner friendly as we can possibly be. And so when somebody says something like that, I'm like, okay, well, I got to reevaluate. Like, did we do something? Did we miss something? Are we doing something that's not beginner friendly? Um, so 
because I, you know, I try to make sure we, we handle all of that. So, you know, that, that kind of, you know, that irks me a little bit. Um, thoughts on Maker's 47, again, kind of that French oak finish, not my favorite, but it's, it's a fine whiskey. It's just not, not my jam. Uh, I've had a Noah's Mill, but it's been a while. It wasn't good enough for me to buy another one. Um, oh, we're done. We're, we're, we're finished. We're, we're good. I know, Edward. It's all good. No, let's, let's not talk about it anymore. Haven't had Colorado whiskey. No. Should I? Is that something I should be trying? Appreciate it, Josh. Appreciate it, Brantley. Thank you. Uh, there is an old elk uh, weeded over my shoulder. It's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Now, I think it's a store pick weeded. Uh, or actually, a friend of mine brought his, and I had that one. So I think that's a that's the normal weeded, and his was the store pick. That's what it was. Good stuff, though. His, uh, his store pick was better than my weeded. Uh, I have a Russell's Reserve thing, uh, 13. Thank you there, Dio. Uh, I have a Russell's Reserve 13. It's batch two, second one that came out. I like it a lot, but I don't just love it. But it's still that Russell's Reserve kind of bitter oak that I get. Like, it just, it hits me weird. My palate just doesn't agree with the bitter oak. The, that That's what makes me like it, but not just, like, be all over it like a lot of people are. What are my streaming schedules? So right now, what we're doing, are we're streaming Monday and Wednesdays at 8 o'clock Central Time until I get tired. So typically, we're going to call it at at least by 11. Um, we may call it a little earlier if we just run out of things to talk about or if, you know, the crowd's not into it. We're going to start building some fun things. We're going to start playing some games and doing some different stuff. As soon as I get a TikTok streaming key, which I'm expecting, we may be delayed, but I'm expecting to have a streaming key on uh, this week sometime, maybe definitely by next week. And so once I have that streaming key, y'all will get the same audio video experience that we have over on YouTube, but formatted for TikTok. Like I'm not gonna do widescreen, you're not gonna turn your phone sideways. It's gonna be cropped in like this, but it's gonna sound a lot better and it's gonna be a lot clearer as well. So um, hopefully that'll happen soon. And then we're gonna start rolling in more and more sophisticated things into this live stream. Appreciate it, Michael. Thanks, Tommy. Uh, uh, Chris, I found more Elijah Craig Toasted than I could shake a stick at the last week. Every freaking store I go into has Elijah Craig Toasted. Um, I bought, well, I mean, the bottle shop had Elijah Craig Toasted. Um, they didn't have them out. I don't think they'd put them out yet, but they had Elijah Craig Toasted. I went into Grub Mart in Auburn, so it's like a gas station liquor store for folks that are not around here. Um, they had five or six bottles. I picked up a couple of them. Um, I'm thinking about using, I bought them to use as giveaways. When we do these game shows, we're going to do some games and things and start giving away some bottles. So um, I picked it up as a giveaway. Uh, is Elijah Craig, is Elijah Craig interesting? If we did a game and Elijah Craig toasted was the prize, would that interest y'all? I don't know. So what I'm thinking about doing, if you're in the Discord, we've been talking about this. What I'm thinking about doing is kind of a who wants to be a millionaire style game that we do every Wednesday. And so you, we pick somebody, we bring them on, they have to have a camera. And then we, you start with a, you start with an Evan Williams bottle and bond. That's what you win first question. Every question, the bottle gets more and more rare until you win something moderately rare at the end, but you have to risk it each time. And if you risk it and you miss the question, you don't get anything. So that would be fun. Yeah, Justin, I've got a P.O. box. Send me, a, send me a DM. I had it in my profile. I literally removed it today. Um, Will, um, if you're still in the chat, we need to add a link to like the contact us page on Bruzel and add it or something. Like, we need to add it back on, on TikTok or at least some way to find it. But there's only so many characters in the profile, and that was taking up almost all of them. So I removed it. Um, not really, Fats. The EC Toasted is not something, not, not your jam. How does the EC Toasted compare to the 1910? I need to have the 1910 to try. It's been a long time. Uh, EC Toasted. See, a lot of folks don't, don't love the Toasted. I'm located in uh, Opelika, Alabama. Um, so a lot of folks are not into the Toasted. Those Toasted Sour Mash mixtures are super expensive. Yeah. And the secondary is crazy. No Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. Got five. Of, yeah, they're just every freaking where. So, like, that's probably not rare enough. We'll probably make that a bottle, but it'll be one of the bottles you go through till you get to something more rare. Hard to get in Houston. 
they seem to just like about this time of year, I'll run into, you know, run into them at like five or six stuff. Yes, if you can get me a Heaven Hill 17, I am very much interested in such things for sure. Um, yeah, Brad, hopefully it turns out pretty good. Yeah, Double Oaked is pretty good for someone just getting into whiskey. The Double Oaked is going to be really oaky, but it's got a nice vanilla balance to it. So I, I would probably start off with some other things. I see some other questions here on beginner whiskey. I've shot a video yesterday that will be coming out soon. It's going to be a long form on YouTube, and then we're going to try to figure out how to make it a short. Like, I may have to refilm it for a short to get all of it in in a, in a minute. Um, but if you're subscribed over on YouTube, we're going to have that video coming out really soon where I go through and tell why. Like, it's just, you know, it takes me 10 minutes to go through and tell why each of those is something that I would pick for a beginner. All right, uh, have a favorite toast, a Penelope toasted. Um, I almost picked one of those up this week, but again, it, it kind of got cut for some of the other bottles I was buying. Just found your channel and have been loving it. My favorite of two, Four Roses and Evan. Hey, those are both excellent picks. Nothing wrong with those. Two different mouthfeels completely agree that the 1910 and 1920 are solid, pretty easy to get. Yeah, appreciate it there. Um, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Sorry about that. I'm going to call you Leaf. L-E-E-L-E-E-F on the end. I'm just going to call you Leaf. Hopefully that's okay. Kara Foster in the house. Double Oaked. I like, I mean, as far as finished whiskeys, Double Oaked is really good. The High West stuff I've had has been good. Is Toasted same as Smoked? No, not necessarily. Um, so Toasted means that they lightly toasted the barrel. So they, they're going to take it out of its normal barrel and they're going to put it in another barrel that's lightly toasted. Uh, and that just imparts different flavors on, on the whiskey. Uh, is Sam Houston done being produced? I mean, not to my knowledge, but I don't, I don't really know much about these things. It's kind of the sister bourbon to Calumet. Um, I, and, I, you know, some folks give me a hard time about how I pronounce that Calumet. Um, but they're kind of similar, you know, by the, by the same producer. I don't know what that is, Samuel. Yeah, we have a YouTube, uh, youtube.com forward slash Bruzel, B-R-E-W-Z-L-E, -E, same username. Um, we're posting long form videos. And honestly, the, U the YouTube live stream is a lot higher quality right now than the TikTok one. Um, best drink using Captain Morgan. I couldn't tell you. Me and rum just don't get along. Like every story that ends with me almost going to jail or dying started with rum or tequila. CYPB is good. It's not my favorite Weller. I liked the 107 and the Foolproof better than the CYPB to me. Um, so I definitely wouldn't wouldn't put that kind of hype on it. Yeah, anytime on the on the toasted answer there. What is ESG? Is that a typo? Um, I don't know a ton about Blue Run other than everything I've had from them is good and people I trust in bourbon love it. So... Uh, why is Eagle Rare so limited? I don't think it is super limited. People just buy it up. It's 10 year old whiskey. Like you can only make so much 10 year old whiskey. Uh, so it, they're making more of it. Buffalo Trace is producing a ton of stuff. It just takes 10 years to catch up. Um, but you can usually get it around here pretty, pretty regular. Do I have a go-to cheers in a party setting? Nobody's asking me to do cheers in a party setting. I don't know. Um, Trying to participate is kind of hard if you're new to the whiskey game. Well, how do I make that easier for you, Sean? Seriously, let me know. How do I make that easier for you? That's that's not a, you know, I'm not being facetious on that. Another $7 word right there. Um, probably used that wrong, but let me know. The West Coast exclusive toasted Nulu picks were amazing. I've passed on a couple of Nulu picks. They were kind of pricey, but I probably, I wished I'd have picked some of them up. I, I think Grub Mart, the little, the little gas station liquor store, actually still has some of the Alabama store picks from Nulu. I probably should pick some up. Calumet 16 is better than the Sam Houston 15. So I've got two, two you know, questions on, on both of those on both platforms. I thought the Sam Houston 15 was pretty good. I thought the Calumet 15 was pretty good. I thought the 16 was better than either. Uh, I have not tried any Balconis, but it's on my list. Got your hands on an Amaranth from E.H. Taylor? I, dude, I, I'm not so lucky. I don't have that kind of clout. 
Uh, the Wild Turkey Masters Keep are usually fantastic. The 17-year bottle and bond from a couple of years ago is my favorite wild turkey product ever. Uh, does the glass you drink bourbon out of make a difference? Yes, I've got a short coming out on that. I'm literally filming that short tomorrow. Um, yeah, fake Jordan Belford. Okay, you're right, fake Jordan Belford. But at least we got a real name. At least we didn't have to fake being somebody else. Like, and you literally have a name of somebody who is like, like you've seen the movie, right? Like you can't be against vices if you're a fan of Jordan Belford, like you can't be against vices, man. Oh, that's funny. Can't wait to set up my new bar. Nice, set it up, hurry up. Get That should be the first thing. Like you gotta unpack the alcohol first. Uh, I don't drink whiskey sours, so I don't really know. Should I drink whiskey sours or what's your favorite? I've gotta start branching out and doing more whiskey mixed drinks. I really do. Like I just, I'm an old fashioned guy if I'm making a mixed drink. So I, I just, I haven't really tried whiskey sours. I'm sure I've had one at a bar, but I've never never made one here. Why can't people drink bourbon in large amounts like beers? Just higher proof. Um, so it just, you know, gets to you faster. Mike from Alaska has joined again. Nice. 107 is my favorite as well of just like normal Weller, not William LaRue, but... Um, I, I mean, I'm not too upset about the trade bait. You know, it's still pretty reasonably priced, 100, 110 bucks on secondary. So, yeah, Joshua, the YouTube channel is definitely better than than TikTok. Um, it just TikTok will get there. They're they're gonna give me a stream key. We're gonna get that quality up, but just not there yet. I appreciate it, Sean. We'll try to figure out ways to make it easier on you. And we're doing a lot more best stuff for beginners things like that, trying to trying to make it a little more approachable. Uh, not a big fan of Mictors, okay. Um, well, again, if you're just getting into it, again, I want you to try these. We've got this video coming out. It, it'll probably, Will will be able to tell you when it's coming out. Gam Tang in here, one of our moderators, will be able to tell you when it's coming out more than me. It's being edited right now. I would assume it would drop next week sometime, but the, the best bourbons for beginners. Mictors might be a little too far for you. Balvenie Caribbean cask. I've got that one. That's like literally the only scotch I have on my shelf. Pretty good. Uh, I haven't done any barrel picks yet, Chris, but we're about to do our first one. So we're going to do our first barrel pick from Barrel Bourbon Company. Um, it's I'm expecting to have it sometime by the end of the year. So what's a fair price for stag? $150-ish. If I see it for that, I buy it. Um, I've tried the Buffalo Trace Kosher. I thought they were pretty good. Uh, but the Balvenie Caribbean cask is interesting. For Again, not like that kind of scotchy flavor is not really my jam. But that one's pretty easy and approachable. US1, the Mictors available at my local place. Yeah, they all say US1. I don't even know what that freaking means. Does higher price mean better quality? No, not, not at all. Not at all, Joshua. Um, not even close. Alaska, um, you're drinking 1800, all right. Bourbon and Coke, if I'm not drinking any, me too, me too. My favorite low budget whiskey, if you're talking about like under 20 bucks, um, Evan Williams Bottle and Bond or Wild Turkey 101 at 25, or the Benchmark stuff at $20 are all exceptional. Uh, the Clyde Mays, I like Clyde Mays a lot. Like I, I can't wait till they're actually made in Alabama. Right now it's contract distilled. Um, somewhere else, and I think it's bottled in Florida or something like that. But they're building a plant or a distillery. Um, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be pushing them hard because I I just don't have a lot of Alabama whiskey I like at this point. I don't have my own bourbon, but we're gonna start doing our own store picks. I think we're I think we've gotten enough momentum. I'm nervous about it. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's a lot of money, and you know we we've got a large following. We've got a lot of subscribers but we're still kind of new to the community building aspect, right? We hang out with you folks and, you know, a lot of you folks are, are cool and, and, you know, but it's like when it comes to actually paying a lot of money for a bottle of bourbon, um, you know, because the, the barrel picks are really expensive. Like we're going to have to charge $110 for the bottle. And that's a lot of money for whiskey, especially when a lot of our audience is kind of beginner level. So, I, you know, I'm a little stressed out about it. Little nervous about it. I don't know if we should try to continue to build the community and the Discord and everything a little further before I just go broke buying a barrel of whiskey, but we're gonna YOLO it. We're gonna YOLO it. 
And I, th I think, you know, we'll figure it out. Um, and then eventually, like we're talking to a local distiller about possibly contract distilling some stuff and releasing it under our own label, but that stuff will take years to actually produce. So that'll be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody make sure they're subscribed to Whiskey Encore. Are you going live tonight, Cheech? Or is that, I know you're going live tomorrow. He goes live on Tuesdays usually. Weed or rye? I, I'm a weed guy all the way. Sorry about that, Todd. Um, weed or rye? Must visit distillery while in Lexington. I, I haven't been to the, like all I do is work. Y'all I got a full-time job. I'm spending full-time amount of time creating content and then I'm live streaming with you twice a week. So I, I don't go anywhere. Um, Wadi Boone and Sons. I've seen the bottle, but I haven't bought, I haven't bought it yet. So how would the picks work for people not in Alabama? Yeah, it's going to be, we're going to, we're going to work with a company that will ship them. So they'll be sent to a company that could then mail them out. So, yeah, I have no idea what US one means. I have no clue. Um, Jameson's fine, but I don't. I don't care much for it. Like it's just simple and plain, and it just I don't. Not something I drink, right? Yeah, the special editions are at two hundred fifty bucks. Uh, Dia, we probably will do a pre order. Um, I've got to talk to the retailer. Um, so I'm trying to. You know, I'm trying to figure that out long term. What I would love to do. This is what I would love to do. I'm, I'm trying to find somebody and I'm, I'm talking to some small liquor stores. I don't know if this is gonna work out. Some small, I'm talking to some fairly large liquor store chains actually that don't have an online presence and try, I wanna build my own liquor store. So online only liquor store, I can, you know, fair prices, you know, transparency, um, you know, maybe do some allocated stuff we could give away, use that to sponsor our own live streams, to give bottles away and do stuff and then be able to sell these barrel picks through those. I'm, I'm probably a long way away from making that a reality because that's a big leap, right? Um, I'm gonna have to put a lot of time and effort into that to make that work. But for now, we're gonna work with a retailer that'll ship them out. What's the day gig? I'm in e-commerce, so we build websites and sell things. So as far as like building a website for a, a liquor store, not that big a deal. Like we got folks that can do it. It still costs me a lot of money because I have to pay my employees because at this point, I'm just in marketing and, and trying to run the business. Get one for sure. Awesome. So uh, they should be able to ship to New York. Most of these places can ship to um, all but like three or four states. I don't know what those states are right off the top of my head. Um, let's see. I'm, I know I've missed a few chats over here on YouTube. I apologize. If you really want your question answered, um, you know, post it again. I'll get to it. Uh, ways to ease the burn. So for me, like when I'm drinking, first of all, a good glass like this is going to go a long way toward helping you, right? So when I swallow my whiskey, I'll push my tongue up to the top of my mouth, which kind of makes that whiskey roll around the outside of the throat. And so it doesn't go down the middle. So I, I'm drinking this. This is 100 proof. And it's very little burn for me. The middle of that throat, those tonsils in the middle of that throat or what's going to burn. So there's technique to it to kind of, you know, limit that burn. It still burns some, but it's not like overwhelming. Uh, Jefferson's Ocean depends on the batch. Some good, some terrible. Is ancient, ancient age, 10 star any good? Yeah, Morgan, I keep ancient, ancient age. I buy it by the like 1.75 liter. Um, I buy, when I see it, I usually buy two or three of these guys right here and keep it on the bar and you see how much we've drank out of that. And I haven't, I've had this a month or so, uh, but this is what I use for my old fashions. Um, and uh, it's still, a, it's pretty good whiskey. Like this is, this is like baby Blanton's, right? It's not as good as Blanton's. I, it's not as good as Buffalo Trace, but it's also a heck of a lot cheaper. Plastic bottle, this, this whole 1.75 liter was like 23 bucks or something like that plus tax. Like, you can't beat it. Now, don't mess up and get the ancient age. It's got to be the ancient, ancient 10 star. But that's a that's pretty good freaking whiskey. Um, don't tell the I hey, Chris. I won't tell her. I won't tell her. Low-key channels willing to help. All right. Uh, Brown Foreman product is my favorite. Right now, Jack Daniels Koi Hill. I don't have a bottle, but I've tried it, and that is freaking over-the-top crazy good. 
Um, outside of that, um, I'm trying to remember all of the Brown Foreman brands because they have quite a few brands and I don't like Brown Foreman is Old Forester, Jack Daniels, um, I'm gonna look it up. I forget all of the auxiliary brands off of these. Of course, my, let's look at this. Brown Foreman brands. All right, so Brown Foreman owns, oh Lord, brands right there. Give me the brands. Jack Daniels, there's a tequila brand, Woodford Reserve, Old Forester. I thought they had some smaller brands too. Um, oh, Slane Irish Whiskey, Cooper's Craft. That's the one I was forgetting. So out of those, it's not going to be Cooper's Craft, although I think the Cooper's Craft 100 is really good. Old Forester Birthday Bourbon is fantastic. Um, Old Forester Single Barrel Barrel Strengths are really good. Like there's a lot of limited release Old Forester stuff I can't get that's freaking incredible. Uh, Jack Daniels. Realistically, the Koi Hill is probably my favorite Jack Daniels product. The rest of these, like the 10 year stuff, I do find really good, but those are not ones that I'm like regularly seeking out. Woodford Very Fine Rare, I have been sipping on that bottle because I don't have another one to replace it. Um, it's, you know, that stuff's freaking fantastic. So um, if I just had to pick one bottle from Brown Foreman right now, it's gonna be that Koi Hill. Love Pappy's. Pappy's is good stuff. Super pricey. Don't buy it. But not at M not if you get it in MSRP, drink all of it. Uh, what's my main source of income? E-commerce. Uh, I own a small e-commerce agency. Uh, what's my go-to drink? Uh, it's going to be uh, Weller Antique 107 Neat. You have to sell your own LLC in state. It's going to customer. I mean, there, there are... You don't necessarily have to have an LLC in the state that it's going to. Like there, you know, there are some there are some laws, but there are a lot of online shops that will ship to all but about four states. Um, and if you're talking about general e-commerce, like al alcohol is a little different, but general e-commerce, as long as you don't sell over half a million dollars in a particular state, you usually don't have to worry about it. Um, thoughts on an infinity bottle? Good stuff. Um, it's fun, right? It's just fun. You're just blending your own whiskey, so it's fun. Uh, enjoy it. Do it. Uh, yeah, you should be able to order. I, like, I don't know what states we'll be able to ship to. It depends on which retailer we pick, but I assume it's going to be most of them. And if you, if Mississippi may be one of those, you can't get it to. Like, I, I, you know, we'll figure it out from there if that's, if that's the case. Um, 1910 is good stuff though, Tommy. On the US-1, all of the mixtures say US-1 on them, don't they? Like, all of them say US-1. I think every single one of them says US-1 on it. So, like, yeah, the mixtures limited US-1, the the toasted barrel there, the toasted barrel. Like, I think all of the mixtures say US-1 on them. I, I could be wrong. There may be some that don't. But it's, um, that ancient age is a lot better than the Evan Williams, to my taste. It's, it's going to be sweeter. So, I could understand how folks would like that. Haven't had walking stick. Just gifted a bottle of Weller 107. Nice. Pop that sucker open. Give it a try this weekend. You, if you don't like it, I'm just telling you, if you don't like Weller Antique 107, do not listen to any review I ever give you about any bourbon ever. Just don't do just don't trust my palate if you don't like Weller Antique 107. I haven't had Wild Turkey 12. Want it, but CYPB, it's it's fine. It's it's not my favorite Weller product, but it's fine. Need to get that Jack Daniels Gold? I'll keep an eye out for one, but it may be too late. I don't have any tin cup. Uh, life of open bottles is years at this point. It's, it's years. Uh, I don't know how many, but if you keep it mostly full with the cork in it, you're probably going to get four or five years out of it pretty good. Uh, what's a new whiskey distiller you've recently discovered and really enjoyed? Have I bought anything from a distiller that I haven't tried? Oh, well, this this right here, actually. Just had this tonight. First time I've ever had anything from Sagamore. Really liked it. Ah, uh, Eagle Ridge, good stuff. 10-year-old bourbon. You get it for like 30 bucks or under, pff, take it. 
or you're not gonna get it under, but thirty bucks or so. Uh prefer how about the preferred ancient age? I don't know what that is. I don't know what preferred ancient age is. There's ancient age, there's ancient ancient age. I haven't heard of preferred. If you can get a hold of a president's choice, oh yeah, yeah, Tommy. I, I haven't. I've tried one, I think. I think. I'm not 100% sure. I tried some limited stuff. Bourbon Kingdom had some limited Old Forster stuff, and I can't remember what all I tried that night. But it was all of it was freaking fantastic. Um, Suntory from Judith bought Jim Beam some years back. I, I'm not aware. I uh, haven't had Seagram's Don't Drink Doers Blue Note. I, I've got a Blue Note, but it's like somebody took it and finished it in a honey barrel. Eh, no, it's it's okay. It's not not great. Uh, ASW out of Atlanta. I'll keep an eye out for that. All right, Helion. It is 1030, isn't it? Make sure they ship to Texas. I'll try to find, I'm going to try to find one that ships to, Barrel has given me several options and I could pick my own, but I'm going to try to find folks who have the biggest distribution for sure. What's the oldest aged bourbon you've tried? Probably around 18 years. Well, no, I've had a Pappy's 20 two i think for sure so it'd probably be right around there what whiskey existed today is closest to the 1890 dude i'm gonna be honest you didn't want the whiskey in the 1890s you didn't want it it was god knows what it wasn't bourbon for sure uh, at least most of it wasn't so my favorite bourbon's weller antique 107 uh, there's some penelope yeah i've got penelope architect and penelope barrel strength over there uh, both like those. Um, let's see. What did I miss over here? I, I like Eagle Rare. I mean, Eagle Rare, It's it made my list of whiskeys to try for beginners for sure. Um, you know, it's really easy, low proof. Um, it's got really an interesting flavor profile that I can't get on anything else for the most part. So it's definitely something worth having. Flavored whiskeys is not my jam. I just bought a couple of them today to shoot videos with, but it's not something that I like. Um, B says preferred is the black and red bottle. I don't, I don't, I don't know the context of that. How does Discord work? Discord's just a chat. It's just a chat, right? So you just you just go in there and chat. It's kind of like Slack if you do Slack at work or something like that. Um, it's just a chat app. Best I've ever had, William LaRue Weller, 2020, up top. Haven't tried Junction 35, no. Um, how to taste bourbon. Uh, so for me, it's just neat in a glass, Glencairn or any whiskey tasting glass, right? Um, and then just however you like it, right? So try to get the sensory experience, right? Smell it, uh, drink it, but like, there's people that have techniques and they swirl it and get air on it and do all sorts of crazy things. Just enjoy it. That's all I really want you to do is enjoy it. Heard a lot of whiskey that's put on a ship and sailed around the world. Yeah, yeah that's Jefferson's Ocean. Um, it depends on the batch. Some of them are really good. Some of them are not so good. I like the weeded one that I've tried, the Voyage 22, but um, I, you know, the rest of them, not my thing, so. Oh, you see the title? Well, we were we were just going over some news and things there. Um, just kind of talking about some crazy stuff, like um, Pappy's is going to release more. Um, Arby's has released a bourbon, like the restaurant Arby's. Dr. Pepper is releasing a bourbon-flavored soda, but it's all limited release stuff, so. Yeah, Sean, like I said, Jefferson's Ocean depends on the batch. Penelope rating, I really like the Penelope barrel strength. The Architect's pretty good, but I prefer the barrel strength a little bit. Uh, most expensive bottle I've ever, the the Pappy's up on the top shelf is the most I've ever paid for a bottle. And I didn't pay near MSRP. I promised the guy I bought it from, I wouldn't say, so I won't say. Um, but it wasn't, I'm saying, it wasn't MSRP, but it wasn't secondary either. So it was kind of in between those uh, can I get Blanton's? I literally, tomorrow on YouTube, a long form video talking about how hard it is to get Blanton's in the state of Alabama. I go on a mission to obtain a bottle of Blanton's in the state of Alabama, and that video releases at 10.30 Central Time tomorrow on YouTube. 
Um, I did just get an old granddad bottle and bond. Just bought, I've been looking for one for over a year now, I think. And I finally found one. Funny thing, I finally found one. And now I've seen two since. I found one like a month ago and now I've seen two. Um, I don't have mellow corn, but I'm going to try it at some point. Navy, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, the mellow corn by Heaven Hill. Yeah, I just, I'm going to get one. I just haven't had one yet. I have Blue Run High Rye, pretty good stuff. I actually like Blue Run, the stuff I've had. Basil Hayden is, is foul? I wouldn't call it foul, but it's not something I find exceptional either. Uh, what do you think of that architect from Penelope there, Navy Vet? What's going on, Whiskey Central? Um, how important is a Glen Cairn versus a rocks glass? I think it's pretty important if you're trying to drink it neat. Now, if you pour an ice over it, enjoy the rocks glass, but this is gonna give you a lot more flavor and I can pick up a lot more um, different flavor notes, tasting notes, in a glass like this versus a rocks glass. So, um, didn't see Blanton's at local ABC store here in Montgomery. It dropped in one place here last month in, in Opelika. So, uh, I have not had C922 Larceny, no. Can I make an old fashioned? I'm not gonna make one tonight, but I've got a video on the channel on mine. It's a little, it's sweet. It's on the sweet side, but it's pretty good. If you come visit in, I'm gonna, okay, Navy vet. I'm, like I said, if you were in the Discord, I don't know if you're in the Discord, or if you even know what Discord is, but there's a link in my profile. We're gonna do some road trips next year in Ohio for Weller, like going to Ohio, because everybody says it's available. Going to Ohio and searching for Weller is a trip that I am planning on doing sometime, hopefully next year. Um, so, and I'll, I'll post that in the discord and hook up with folks as I do it. Seth, I'm an Auburn grad, so I, you know, I'm not gonna, I, I'm not too upset about Alabama losing. I'm not a hater either. I got, you know, but it's, you gotta lose every once in a while. Cave Hill from Rabbit Hole. I think I had a Cave Hill. Which one do I have now on the bar? Yeah, Cave Hill's the one I got on the bar right now. It's all right. Um, I have an old Fit 17 I haven't opened yet, but that, that Heaven Hill was freaking fantastic. What should I look for when trying to buy Jefferson's Ocean? That's what you mean? Not newbie friendly? What do you, what do you mean? I, you're just asking a question and nobody answered it? Well, it just takes a second, man. I, I got to get to it there. Um... So, like, the problem with buying a Jefferson's Ocean is there's nothing really to look for. Like, some, some batches are good, some batches are not. So, um, really what you have to do is you just have to Google and find a review, and then you have to find somebody that's reviewed those that, you know, matches your profile. So, you know, just because you don't get your question answered right away doesn't mean nobody's going to answer your question, right? So... Like that's, it's, it's hard because those vary so much from batch to batch. And sometimes you're just gonna have to buy a bottle and try it. Like that's what, that's what you have to do as a newbie. Sometimes you just gotta invest a little money. So Jefferson's Ocean can be a little pricey, right? So you're taking a bit of a bigger chance. Maybe you start with, you know, some stuff that's a little more readily available in that 20 to $30 range. So you're not taking that chance. But if you're feeling frisky, realistically, you're just gonna have to try some whiskeys and sometimes they're not going to work out. Sometimes you're just going to buy a whiskey that's not good. I've got some Jefferson's. Oh, hell, I've got freaking 75 or 80 whiskeys behind me that are just meh, right? Just not something that I'm ever going to go back to. And I end up just like feeding it to people that come in. The Basil Hayden's back there. I get asked about that 147 times. I'm never going to pop that bottle and give that a try. Not that it's terrible, but it's just not good in my collection of stuff and so there's so many other good things to try. So the only people that ever drink Basil Hayden are folks that come in that are kind of new and they're like, I like Basil Hayden or I want to try something that's really smooth and easy to drink. You know, you're just, sometimes you're just going to have to try some stuff. Like we're not going to be able to answer all of the questions all of the time. Um, unfortunately, sometimes you're just going to have to buy a bottle and see if you like it. And then you start to, then you can say, hey, I liked this bottle, but I didn't like that bottle. And then we can say, well, you're probably not going to like this other bottle either because of this, you know, give us a little more about your flavor profile because you've tried a bunch of stuff. I got you. All good, Sean. All good. I'm just, I mean, I'm just trying to read chat and make sure you're getting you, you know, I, I didn't see them reply to it. 
Um, but realistically, like it's really hard unless somebody knows your flavor profile to give you a suggestion, especially on Jefferson's Ocean, because some of those are just, they're like, they're wildly different from batch to batch. Uh, no, there's never, Justin, my rule is, is I will not have bottles of whiskey that I won't open. Like, I just won't have them. Um, don't, don't want them. Like, they're, they're meant to be drank. So I'm not investing in, in bourbon. I probably should. I'm probably dumb for not investing in bourbon at this point. But that's just not, not what I'm into. I, wanna, I don't want to die wondering what they tasted like. Like, that's just like a weird thing, right? Like, you know, you can't take it with you. And I don't sell whiskey, so I, why keep it as an investment? Because I'm not going to sell it. So, all right, Sean. I'm sorry. Hey, Sean, I misread. Sorry. We've got a few trolls in here. I may be a little touchy, man. It's all good. Appreciate you hanging out for as long as you have. Um, I, I'm, I was just trying to make sure we got your question answered, man. I, I apologize if I took that a little too far. Um, Saturday got a bottle of Caribou Crossing. Like it. Nice. I've got a store pick that I don't love, but I'm, I'm trying to blame the store pick. I don't know. I haven't had like the normal release. So didn't like it. So it's my party offering. Exactly. Like that. And all the bottles back here, I think are just okay. Somebody comes in here and likes them. And so uh, it's kind of fun to do that, right? It's kind of fun to, like, good, drink them. I don't know. I'm going to have to start getting rid of some whiskey somehow because we've been buying a ton of stuff, you know, that's just, like, not something I'm going to drink. But, like, Lord, I'm out of space. So I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with an open bottle of Evan Williams, not bottle and bond, but just, like, or, or Jim Beam or something like that. Like, I'm just not sure what I'm supposed to do with that. Do you like the High West Rye? Haven't had it. Don't know. Just poured a mix. Like, if you're mixing it, that's a good mixer, for sure. Uh, I have not tried the Russell Single Rick House. I'm not a Sazerac Rye fan at all there, Navy Vet. So, we, we're going to differ on that. I'm not a big fan of it. What's the difference in a store pick? So, store picks, I mean, I, are you asking, like, in general, what is a store pick? So, store picks are usually single barrels. So the, they can be a little off profile, right? So they may have picked it with a particular flavor in mind. And so mine just has kind of an off note that I don't love on that caribou. And so I'm, my guess is, like, I'm, I'm hoping that the off note is the store pick part. Like, they just pick something off profile, and the normal release may not have that flavor that's off-putting. So uh, pre-prohibition old fashions? I mean, I have the old-fashioned right after prohibition not pre-prohibition from from the video we did i don't i don't think i preferred it it was on the right path for something though it's pretty good so not your cup of tea so mictors is kind of um caramel forward so sean let me know what you've drank what is your favorite what is the one you found that you like the most right now refresh my memory on that Yankees game got moved to Tuesday. I'm not a baseball guy either. Didn't grow up with baseball. Um, yeah, I like OGD. OG, OGD bondage pretty good. It wasn't exceptional though. It wasn't like I was expecting it to be like super, super nice. And it was just pretty good. It was just pretty good. A woman that has never had bourbon. So when somebody has never had bourbon... Um, and, and, you know, females often, not always, like this is, I'm not trying to stereotype anybody. I'm just, my experience with folks that come in here, they're often not drinking really high proof stuff. And really men, if they're not into bourbon, are not typically drinking high proof stuff. You might be drinking beer, you might be drinking wine or something like that. So um, oftentimes when you come into bourbon, and, and uh, women oftentimes have a, a much more developed palate, like you know, women in bourbon can oftentimes pick up a lot more tasting notes than, than most men can. Um, so, you know, I really would want you to just try a bunch of different stuff, but really start with, start with low proof stuff. Um, you know, get a, um, let's start with, I'm going to kind of start you with some of the same stuff I would start anybody really, it, you know, it doesn't, doesn't matter if you're, you're male or female, but um, you know, an Eagle Rare, a Buffalo Trace, uh, those are really easy. Old Forester 86 proof 
you would probably like. If you drink a lot of wine and you're kind of coming from that, you might actually really like a lot of the like port finishes like an Angel's Envy or something like that. Those might be a little more appealing. I'm not a big wine drinker. A lot of men are not necessarily wine drinkers. So we try not to start them with the finished stuff, you know, start them with just kind of middle of the road, low proof bourbons, and then maybe work them into a double oaked. Um, but for you, if, you, if you're if you coming from wine or something like that, um, I, maybe an Angel's Envy, but definitely an Old Forster 86, Buffalo Trace, Eagle Rare kind of stuff. And sorry, I missed a couple of questions there while I was, while I was rambling. Um, I mean, Michter's is not my favorite, but I do like Michter's a lot. It's one of my favorite distilleries for sure. Um, so, but let me know what you're into there, Sean. Larceny. Okay, so Larceny's weeded. Um, Larceny's weeded. Larceny is, um, that's a Heaven Hill brand, right? Larceny is Heaven Hill brand. Um, they have Old Fitzgerald, but that stuff's going to be really, really hard to find. Um... If somebody likes larceny, so larceny, like normal larceny, not, not barrel proof, is probably going to be light, um, not super intensive, and it's going to be weeded. So maybe a Rebel Yale or Rebel 100. Uh, they used to be Rebel Yale. They changed to Rebel. Maybe a Rebel, a Rebel would probably be right up your alley. That's going to be weeded, not terribly complex and sophisticated, but, you know, a nice, sweet weeded. How did I get into bourbon? I don't know. I wish I, I should have avoided it. It's been very, very expensive. Um, really just work. We used to sit down and drink a bourbon and talk about e-commerce topics for content. And so just ended up with a huge collection and just started getting really deep into it. Oh, Mictor's Barrel Strength Rye is my favorite rye for sure. Just opened a Larceny Barrel Proof. Uh, the B522, I really enjoyed. I tried it uh, this week. Um, just Well, we just released a review last week. So it was last week I tried that. Um, how do you handle bourbons at such high proofs? Now, there's a little bit of technique to keep it from burning going down, but it really is just experience. Obviously, the body mass doesn't doesn't hurt any, um, which is a problem I'm trying to rectify at this point. Black Maple Hills, the Black Maple Hills, I hear, like I had a squatty bottle, the little small bottle. I hear those are bad, and, and mine that I had was not good. But I hear the tall bottle Black Maple Hills, the old school bottles are actually really good, but I've never seen one of those. Wild Turkey 101 is a great pour at 25 bucks. Uh, cream of Kentucky bottle and bond, I have not. I do have a Cream of Kentucky, but it's, it's like the 13 year. A good step up from Gentleman Jack. So Jack Daniels, um, Brown Foreman, I would roll into an old Forester. Get like an old Forester 100 proof, something like that. Haven't seen a Woodford Reserve video? Um, yeah, we're gonna do some Woodford Reserve stuff. We haven't done a ton. We, honestly, I just haven't got any of their limited stuff to do reviews. And so um, I need to do like a double oaked video for sure, because I do like double oaked. And the limited stuff we have is from like a year or two years ago, and there's no sense doing a video about two year old whiskey nobody can get. Don't drink scotch, no. Um, wanting to get into drinking bourbon, what do you recommend to start out? Literally have a video coming out um, next week on YouTube going over the bourbons I think you should try and why. So um, keep an eye out for that on YouTube. It'll be a little while before we, we're gonna have to reshoot it as a short because it's, it's just got a ton of information in there. So I, I'm not gonna be able to get that in a minute for TikTok. Do you have any opinions on American single malt getting a legal definition? I'm not a fan of single malt, so I, I haven't really kept up with it. But cool, that's good. I mean, I don't know why it really matters, but there you go. Need to learn this is way more entertaining than Monday night football. Well, I don't know who's playing tonight, but that probably has something to do with whether or not this is more entertaining. Favorite hazmat or really high proof? Again, Coy Hill. I got. That's my favorite hazmat right there. I don't have a bottle, um, but it I tried it, and it is freaking exceptional. Like, I want one so bad. Uh, Castle of Key has released bourbon. I have not had their bourbon. I tried to go get a, a liquor store in Georgia, got their weeded um, this week, and I tried to go get it, but they were they were gone. 
Um, do I like store picks? I don't think store picks are typically worth a huge markup over the normal release, but I do enjoy them and I do buy quite a few of them. Got about 65-ish bottles. Nice. I haven't tried Frey Ranch. It's on my list, but I haven't seen it. Got into whiskey due to PewDiePie about five years ago. Moved from Japanese to bourbon, then Scotch and Irish. Nice. That's awesome. Uh, we got a PewDiePie fan. We've taken over. I'm going to be the next to 100 mil. No, I'm not. Uh, what does bottle and bond mean? So realistically, back in the day, people used to put all sorts of garbage in whiskey, right? Like you could do just about anything to try to increase your yields. You water it down. You had artificial colors and flavors and all sorts of things. So the government stepped in and created the Bottle and Bond Act. So all it really means, there's a lot of technical detail, but realistically, it means that all the grains came from one growing season. It was distilled, and then it was, um, it's going to be aged in a federally bonded warehouse for a minimum of four years, and then it's going to be released at 100 proof. So all that really means, if you're looking at it, if you're go and you're on a shelf and you look at a bottle and it says bottle and bond, the important part is it's four years old, which is older than bourbon, right? That a normal bourbon, like a normal bourbon could be a couple of years old, could be three years old, could be 75 years old, whatever. Um, it's not 75 years old. You know what I'm saying. Uh, but this one means it's at least four years old. So you know you've got at least four years and it's absolutely 100 proof. That's the important part. Um, it, so it's like the a federally bonded warehouse. I don't know the requirements to become a federally bonded warehouse, but I assure you they're not that stringent. I'm sure some revenue or some, some government agent comes by every once in a while and has a clipboard and checks some crap off. That would be my guess. I, I don't really know them. What is a weeded bourbon? So bourbon has to be 51% corn. Uh, on the mash bill, right? The ingredients that make it have to be majority corn. Um, after that, the second most prominent grain is wheat, makes it wheated. So you can use any cereal grain you want. You know, malted barley, you can use all sorts of crazy stuff. There's a lot of cereal grains that people just don't, don't use a lot in bourbon. So if you use, uh, a lot of people will use rye. Uh, if you use wheat as that kind of second most prominent grain, then it's considered a wheated bourbon. Is Coy Hill worth $250? I'll be honest, Roy. If I had a Coy Hill, especially a 750 milliliter bottle, like the one from last year, for $250, I would buy it. I, I would buy it for $250, just because it's such a unicorn. At that high a proof for what it is, is it worth that for drinking? Probably not, but I, I would have to pull the trigger on that one. Now, the little bitty ones, the 375s from this year, that would be a little tougher because that is kind of like the $500 for the last year's one. Um, that would be tough. Bring out the Pappy. We're not going to drink Pappy tonight, but I appreciate the encouragement. Uh, actually, Matt, I just ordered whiskey stones and some like metal ice balls for a video. I don't use them. I don't like them, but we're going to test them for a video. So the whiskey balls, the metal ones arrived yesterday, but the whiskey stones should be here tomorrow, I hope, so that I can film them. If not, we'll film that video next week. It'll come out in the next couple of weeks. I think like they're, they're terrible, right? You put them in the freezer, you put them in your drink, but they just don't impart enough coldness to really cool your drink down. So now you're just literally drinking warm whiskey on rocks. And that's not wonderful. Cheech does have a YouTube channel. Now, he mostly just live streams, but I'm trying to get him to post some videos, but his live streams are fun. So I guess what is a federally bonded warehouse? Yeah, exactly. I don't really know what it takes to be a federally bonded warehouse. I'm sure somebody in the chat has a really good definition of that. This was Smoke Wagon. Yes, Smoke Wagon, small batch right here. What's the difference between whiskey and whiskey with an E, without an E? I think in the United States, nothing. You just, you know, it's just pretty much whiskey with an E for the most part, or however you want to spell it. Um, overseas in Europe and things, I think it's, there's actually like a technical difference. And hell here, there might be a small technical difference, but we, we just kind of keep it light and fun. I don't like, spell it how you want to spell it. 
Yes, I have tons and tons of blends. We literally have three bottles of blends open over there from the, the blind we did last week. Um, so, appreciate it, Art. Get it. Jump on it. I appreciate you jumping over there and uh, subscribing to Cheech. He has fun late night streams, so. All right, Salty, appreciate you hanging out. I'm probably about to hit the sack here myself. Well, with 10.54, so I'm probably about to call it myself. We are going to go live Wednesday, again, 8 o'clock Central Time on TikTok and YouTube. Uh, again, I'm hoping for a stream key. I don't know if it'll happen before Wednesday so that we can take the quality of TikTok up to the same level that YouTube is. Why do I drink? Because I enjoy it and it's fun. Um, I don't know much about McAllen, sorry. What was the smoke wagon review? This, we, were just, we weren't really exactly reviewing it. I think it's fine, but it's not particularly special to me. Uh, it's a 100 proof MGP, sourced from MGP, Midwest grain product. And it's a fine whiskey, but there's just nothing particularly special about it for me. Haven't had Balconis. Named my German Shepherd whiskey with the E. That's awesome. That's a pretty good name. My dog would probably get confused around here if I named it bourbon. Best $100 bottle? I don't know. I don't know. What's the best bottle you can regularly get for $100? Like regularly get, like walk in a store and get, that Baker 7 hits really good. Uh, the Penelope Cash Strength, pretty solid at that price point. Most of these limited releases like Larceny Barrel Proof and stuff, you're not gonna be able to get realistically. Henry McKenna 10, it's eh, probably not, probably not. I don't think it's better than those I just mentioned. Um, Cause like there's not a lot of just fantastic regular release whiskey you can just go get that's a hundred bucks. What do you think is a fair price for a William LaRue Weller or a George T. Stagg at a bar? Um, well, let's let's do the math, right? How many um, how many ounces in a in seven hundred and fifty milliliters? And I I think it was like twenty something, twenty five. So twenty. Oh, that's seven hundred and forty milliliters. So let me make sure I type in fifty. All right. So how many ounces in seven hundred fifty milliliters? So it's Lord have mercy. It's giving me some crazy results here. All right, so 25. It is 25. So 25 ounces. Um, so let's just, we're going to do it per ounce. So a bottle of William LaRue Weller is at least two grand on the secondary market. And that's normally how they price them, right? So divided by 25, you're talking about 80 ounce, 80 pours. No, $80 per pour, excuse me. Two grand at least and 25 ounces. So you're gonna get $80 an ounce if you're trying to charge on full secondary value. So if you see it for 40 or 50 bucks, you're actually getting a deal compared to actually trying to buy the bottle. Um, $25, if you find it at $25, I would buy it. Like, honestly, I walked into a place in, uh, I walked into a place in Austin, Texas that had it for $20 a shot. And I just told him, I was like, if you've got William LaRue Weller back there for $20 an ounce, you just bring me the bottle. Just bring, I'll just buy every ounce you got, every single one of them. I'll just take them. However many bottles you got for $20 an ounce, I'll take, of course, they're sold out. You can't keep it on the shelf for $20 an ounce. Um, 25 ounces, yeah, everybody's kind of, okay, so that's what you're giving me, not the price, the ounces. Um, so it's, you know, you see it every, I'll see it every once in a while, 30, 40 bucks, something like that, uh, because they're gonna get it at MSRP most of those places, but they're not gonna be able to keep it around unless they're charging 70, $80 a pour for it. Oh man. Jim Beam Double Oak Twice Barreled. I have not. I do not have that. Um, do you like it? Is that a good one? Smoothest, tastiest bourbon on a budget. Sensible budget. Again, Evan Williams Bottle and Bond at 100 proof is $17. Really good. Wild Turkey 101, $25. Uh, 
really good whiskey. Um, the benchmark stuff, like benchmark small bats, $20. Freaking fantastic. Got intimidated and left. I understand that. I understand that. All right, guys. I'm going to call it. I appreciate everybody hanging out again. We will be live on Wednesday. Join the Discord. If you're over here on YouTube, Cheech has been dropping that link. If you're over on TikTok, there's a link in my bio to join that Discord. We just hang out and talk about bourbon over there. Um, I apologize if I didn't get to all the questions. There's a whole bunch of them. So, um, But, you know, come hang out in Discord. If you still got questions, we will get those answered. I'm going to shut off YouTube first here, and then we will get up and get TikTok going. But we crossed over 100 concurrent tonight on YouTube for quite some time. We had over 100 for quite some time, which is a good sign. This stream is growing. So we want to continue to push that up. We're going to try to play some games. I don't know if we'll get the games ready by this Wednesday. Uh, it's going to take a lot of work. But by next week, I hope we can start playing some games and give away some bottles. I may wait till I get that TikTok stream key to try to roll that out, though. So appreciate everybody hanging out, and we will catch up with y'all later. All right, got YouTube ended there.